Hi everyone. It feels kind of weird, doesn't it? Does anybody else feel weird right now? It's because we just spent a whole month fundraising and now it's like over and I haven't streamed in a few days and it's just weird. Everything's just weird. Hi everybody. <laughs> well, oh god, that's my PC, sorry. That scared me. A <laughs> long time no see. <laughs> How was your weekend? Hopefully good, hopefully fun. I had a rather uneventful weekend. I simply went to Chicago and saw Taylor Swift and also my grandma. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> I did both. I did both. Um, so it was fun. That was really fun. And now I'm back and we're going to save and stuff. So we have some things to talk about. We have some stuff to build. There was a new kit that came out. Um, there was a rather suspicious Sims leak that we can discuss. I don't know. There's all kinds of, you know, the blue crew neck. Oh, it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It is Taylor Swift merch, but it's from Etsy. Not a real Taylor Swift blue crew neck. Fake. <laughs> Fake merch. <laughs> Fake Taylor Swift merch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have a lot to talk about, don't we? So we'll have to get into it, but um, I'm excited about it. Let me get my game open too, so that we can uh, play some Sims. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, no, window Sims 4. Here we go. Come on game. There we go. There we go. I was thinking that we could try to build a library. So here's my thing. I would like to play with university for my YouTube Let's Play. And I want to start that in the next couple weeks. Wow, that is loud. Um, maybe two or three weeks from now. So we have to kind of start setting up a little bit. And I think it might be fun if we rebuilt the library in Brightchester. Um, the university library because now we have the book kit. We have like these miraculous amazing bookshelves I feel like if we tried to redo this. I mean come on We can do a lot better than this, right? So that's kind of what I wanted to do. I love the idea of like a very classic like old Sort of traditional library the dark wood like that's kind of what I want to go for so That's kind of my plan for today um, we have a couple other things to talk about. Um, there is a leak. <laughs> I don't know if this is, here's the thing. <sighs> How do we say this? So oftentimes expansion packs will get leaked on retailers in advance. Um, so like sometimes the Microsoft store will like accidentally list something early or whatever, right? And there is a leak today on CD keys. And this is where it's really bizarre to me because CD keys isn't technically an authorized retailer. Like I'm, I can tell you and assure you for a fact that EA doesn't have contact with them about stuff. So I don't know how CD keys would know this, right? Like, it, it makes sense if, like, Xbox leaks something, right? Because Xbox would actually be an authorized result. They would actually know about it and stuff. Well, CD Keys has this on their website today. First of all, don't panic. This is The Sims 3. <laughs> this is really bizarre. Um, it says The Sims 4 Horse Ranch Expansion PC DLC. And it's like a, a fan-made icon? Like, that is a Sims 3 render, but it's like made to look like The Sims 4. Um, and this was on CD Keys and one of the other like key resellers. Was it G2A or something? It was on a couple of those today. So, I don't know. I don't know. No, the price, the, it would usually, this would be $40. CD Keys like sells things cheap because they like get their hands on uh, keys in bulk and then sell them. It's really, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I feel a little bit weary about stuff like this sometimes because like, I don't know. There, there's been like fake listings in the past for things. I don't know if you remember this, but when Eco Lifestyle came out, before they announced it, the Sims team had uh, said that a trailer was going to drop tomorrow, right? And then somebody was like, I work at Target and uh, I can see in the back end of Target that it's going to be a farming pack. 
And that like absolutely blew up. Everybody's talking about it. And then it wasn't a farming pack. It was like fake. Somebody just made it up and said like, oh, I work at Target, it's a farming pack. And then it wasn't. And then it was a huge, huge problem because people were mad, but it wasn't true and it was a whole thing. So like realistically, anybody could just lie. But it's weird that it's on CD keys. The fact that it's on sale already is kind of bizarre too. They just say notify when it comes on sale, but it's just, I don't know. It's weird. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, and I, again, I want to warn you, that's a Sims 3 picture. That's not a Sims 4 picture, it's a Sims 3. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, there was a couple websites it was up on Wild. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it looks off because it's the Sims 3. That's, it's not a real picture. Um, if there was a real picture, it would look different. So this isn't what the actual cover is going to be. It might be, if, they're at, if this is a real pack, it might be a different name too. Um, I'm trying to think, they've had like, when there's been leaks of packs in previous years, there's been like fake names that leaked too. And it was like the same kind of thing, but the name was slightly wrong. Um, Cause sometimes it'll leak like in a different country. So it's a different translation. And then the literal English translation is different than what the actual English name is. That kind of thing happens sometimes. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, why are they posting Sims 3? Well, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, it makes sense that they, if they're, if they like heard about it and wanted to make a cover, it's just weird that it's the Sims 3. Yeah, it was, they said it was eco living instead of eco lifestyle. And that's like, a, that was a translation thing, I think. So I don't know. Is it legit? We don't know, Spork. We don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, the thing is, there's been some like talk around horses like there was that the sims replying to the tiktok comment with like some eyes emojis when somebody asked about horses like there was the horse references and growing together but that's where it's like does that mean it's real or does that mean that like somebody is playing off of that hype and it's fake like i don't know i don't know um but like a whole expansion do you know what i see people talking about this lex People are like, how can it be a whole expansion if it's just horses? I don't know how many of you guys know this, but horses are like extremely, extremely difficult to animate. Like horses are notorious for being a nightmare, not just for the Sims. Like ask any artist, ask any anybody ever in general ever. Horses are like notoriously bad, very difficult. Um, and so it, they, if they were going to do horses, it would never be less than an expansion pack. I'll just tell you that for a fact. They would never do it as a game pack just because it's so hard to make them. Um, you'll see people in chat being like, yep, <laughs> yeah. Um, so horses are like very notoriously difficult. Um, is this real? No, we don't know, Wincourt. This is a weird, weird leak. It's a Sims 3 picture and it's, I don't know. We aren't sure. We're just talking about it because it, um... Hey, this was like posted today, but um, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> um, you're an artist and horses are a pain. Yeah, exactly. Um, so horses are just difficult to make, so they would never do it less than an expansion pack. Um, it wouldn't be feasible. Like that's just not a thing that would happen. So um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought we had to talk about it because uh, there was sort of news about it today. Um, it, it had kind of like come up because it got posted. So, um, <sighs> why this difficult? I think it has to do with how they move Havana, but you can look it up. Um, they're just, they're just difficult. They just are. <laughs> is CD keys an American store? I don't know, Belladonna. Um, CD keys is weird. Their movement is odd. There are a lot. I love horses, but hate drawing them. See, and then imagine trying to animate them. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> um, they've got four legs, obviously, but I think their legs are just hard. So, yeah, CD Keys sells cheap Sims packs because CD Keys, I don't really understand how it works with these websites. They buy like bulk cheap keys and then sell them back to you, but they're like, in the words of EA, not an authorized retailer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can, they, I, I buy from them a lot when I do giveaways, they work, uh, but they are not an authorized retailer. Do with that what you will. Um, that's why it's really bizarre that they have this. That's what I'm so confused about with the leak. 
is because I, it makes sense to me when things leak from like Xbox, the Xbox store, because Microsoft has it and then they just posted it early by accident. But when it's like, when it's CD keys, how do they know? How would they know? Cause they wouldn't be like, I'm telling you, EA isn't telling them. So how do they know? That it's very weird. It's really weird that they are how it leaked. Like I find that really confusing. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> so let's talk about this for a second. Actually, I've got one more thing to talk about. Um, so everyone, you might know that we have on our stream, um, we have these discord roles that you can redeem. They're a point redemption. Um, and it's 80,000 points. And there's actually three. You get the first one, the second one, then the third one. Um, and there's an egg roll, a weenie roll, and then a Rick Astley. <laughs> role in my discord server is kind of like a reward to people in the server who spent a lot of time in the stream. Um, I decided over the weekend to add another one. So is the leak true? No, we don't know snails. We don't know. We're just, that's what we're talking about. We don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I decided over the weekend to add another one of those. Maybe I'll go full cam for this, uh, to add another role. Now this one is absurd. Okay. It's 1 million points, um, and <laughs> if you redeem it, you'll get a clown Discord role, like Pietro. Stream meme. Uh, but it's 1 million points. 1 million points. I don't know how many people have that. I know only one of my mods has a million points right now. Um, so it's this is not an easy achievement. It is a big deal. <laughs> um, you're almost there, but there's no way you're buying that. Why? <laughs> you're at 932K. See, you're close. You're close. Um, but you like your points? Well, I have infinite points, so I can get whatever I want. Look, I can redeem it right now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, but we did decide that we're gonna make, everybody has to have the other three rolls first. So you have to have like the 80, 80, 80, then 1 million is what we decided. So um, it ta it'll take a while. It's not meant to be easy. This is meant to be um, an extreme achievement. <laughs> um, but if, if you happen to have a million points, maybe like three people are close. Um, no, there's more than three that are close. I know some of you have it. Some of you also waste your points a lot on like absolutely nothings. So if that's you, I'm sorry. What channel the roles in? Well, you can use, there's a few uh, role specific channels um, and it changes like your name color and stuff. So you look really special when you've got the, the special name colors. So you have a quarter million. Yeah. See, some people have a lot. So uh, no more thank the mods. <laughs> we can't waste our points on thanking the mods anymore. We have to save up for, a, for the million. <laughs> Yeah, it's the eggs, the, the points that you earn just by watching stream. The eggs, yeah. Fine, I won't mod that. Whoa, 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 Dika. Okay, okay. <laughs> you can't leave me. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> um, anyway, that's my, those are our little updates all of the news from today. I want to thank you all quickly also for all of your subs and stuff uh, at the beginning of the stream here. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you are so, so, so generous and I really am grateful for you. And I think with that, we should be ready to build. I was kind of hoping to build, um, honestly, something, <laughs> this is going to sound so bad, but oh God, um, I was kind of hoping to build something like this, but better. <laughs> Something like this, but not ugly. <laughs> you know, like, um, look, look at this. You see how this is kind of like a fancy library, but it's like not ugly. <laughs> and this one is. <laughs> that's what I, that's kind of what I'm, um, that was kind of what I was hoping to do. Um, I like what they were going for. Um, it just, this one to me seems kind of unfinished. Do you know what else is the problem? This color of roof is absolutely ruined to me because it's the default. It's like, I can't look at that 
and think that it's finished in the same way that this wallpaper looks empty to me. It's like, this is, there is no wallpaper. Technically it's a wallpaper, but to me, this is like, you didn't paint it. This is like, you didn't put a roof, you know? And it sucks because it is kind of a cute color. It just looks like you didn't do it. It looks unfinished whenever I use that color. <laughs> it's hard. It's like, it's like ruined the swatch because it seems like the, it's empty, you know? Um, but anyway, we're going to try and redo this library, I think, is my goal for today. Um, ew, default roof color. <laughs> um, Sky, this is an EA build. This is the default library. It's the Laurel library that comes with university. And we're going to try and rebuild it today. So, do I think we will have unicorns? If it's true, honestly, Celeste, if this horse pack is true and we don't have unicorns, I'm going to be furious absolutely furious. I was looking at this earlier because I made a video um, on Christmas like a year and a half ago uh, with my wish list for horses in The Sims 4. <laughs> and it, it was a joke. It was like I was talking about unicorns and jousting and stuff. But I expect to see all of that. And if I don't, well, then I'm quitting The Sims. No unicorns, then no Simsy. I'm out. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But maybe not. Maybe not completely kidding. I'm like kind of serious about that. So I don't joke about, I don't joke about unicorns. <laughs> Louisa, Brooklyn, Cal, uh, we got Rex Fester, Rebecca, 8-Bit. Thank you all. I'm sorry. There's so many subs. I haven't streamed in a few days. So there was a lot of resubs that just happened. I really appreciate it. Um, was it a real? No, we don't know, Lou. Guys, we should we should really clarify. We don't know if it's a real leak. There is absolutely no information on whether or not it's real. Um, so don't don't take what we're saying and read into it. Um, we're we are completely guessing, just as you are. <laughs> there is there is no real confirmation here about about the leak. It's like maybe it's real, maybe it's not. It looks kind of weird, so we don't know. But. Um, we don't know. <laughs> there is absolutely no real information. So um, anyway, maybe I'll get the Sims community article because people are going to ask about it all day. People are going to come into chat and ask and then people are going to be like, wait, what leak? So we should have a, a, li a link on hand. Um, this is what we're talking about. It was leaked on CD keys. Really bizarre. But here's some information about it. So um, OK, anyway, I think we should be ready to go. Just put a big notice on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know if the horse leak is real. <laughs> um, oh my God, Lemon, we should we should also clarify. I did not build lots for if if this pack is real. I did not build lots for it. I built lots for the last one. They would not ask me to do two in a row. I I was in no way, shape, or form involved in this. If it is real, <laughs> just so we're clear. <laughs> Last time I was a dirty liar and I knew for a long time. This time, absolutely no involvement. Okay. <laughs> Just so we're clear. Um, that I'm, I'm like, I'm not joking either. I know it sounds like I'm joking. I'm not joking. There. Oh, I hate this. I'm honest. I'm not involved. If I was involved, I would have shut up. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be talking about it. You lied before? No, Anna, I never came out and said, I didn't build for the next pack. No, I just didn't talk about it until it started leaking and getting talked about. And then I was like, oh, that would be cool. But I never, I was very careful about what I said. <laughs> I was very careful. You can't say, I mean, listen, like not, not a joke. You have to be careful about that because it, you don't want to sit here and like bring it up because I don't want to get in trouble, you know? Like, <laughs> I, was, I was like under NDA. I'm not going to bring up what I can't and can't say, you know, anyway. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I know we're joking, but I hope that you all understand that I'm not like lying about this. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to try and build a library using the new, uh, the new book nook kit, which I'm actually very excited about. Um, I really, really like the idea of this book nook kit. I did a house, but then I went to my grandma's house. So I haven't had a lot of time to build for real with it. Um, so I kind of wanted to do a university library um, just because I, I thought it would be kind of fun. Plus I'm going to play with the university pack again in my YouTube channel soon. So I kind of like the idea of building something new. Um, I'm just being slow. 
<laughs> I'm just being slow. All right. Am I using all packs? Um, I think I will. Because I'm going to build this more for my own personal vibes. I probably won't end up using, like, all packs, though. It'll be mostly university and the book nook kit. But I think I'll probably just go for it, you know? Um, but I, I don't think we're going to end up using, like, all of them. <laughs> Marissa, I've been ignoring that. Marissa has chosen to be chaotic and adjust the capitalization of of her username for this month. And I can't get behind this. I really can't. <laughs> I just can't. Anyway. <laughs> Do I have a TikTok? Yeah, my name is the same on there. It's just Lil Simsy. Just Lil Simsy. Okay, shall we build? Like I said before, I think this is going to end up being- Oh, <gasps> you got engaged over the weekend! Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> that's so exciting. Um, I was trying to say that I think this is probably going to end up being sort of similar to the original one, just less ugly. Uh, and I'm not joking about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm really going for like very similar vibes, just less ugly. <laughs> Because it was ugly. <laughs> okay, we can put it on like a really tall foundation too, I bet. That might be kind of cool. I don't know. This will be really good vibes. I am excited. Very, very excited. Um, but the library just before the kit came out. Oh, that's so annoying. You built one right before it came out and then you didn't even know it was coming. Of course. It always happens like that, huh? <laughs> okay, um, shall I do it like this? Classic, giant building. That seems good, to, good to me. Oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll put research machines in here too. We'll do like the research machines. We'll put. Uh, I think it's a lot requirement anyway. Or well, maybe not. Oh, I will though. Oh, because it's just a regular library. I'm going to put all of the university stuff. Because you know how with university, you kind of need to have, um, like, the debate things and everything, too? I'm going to put those in there also. Um, that's kind of what I was envisioning, at least. So we'll see. Hmm. I don't know about you. You had a baby girl on Sunday. Oh, my God. Congratulations. What the heck? <laughs> so much good news here. That's so exciting. Um, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, let me think about columns. Should I do like a fancy one? I don't know. I wish that we had something wider than this, to be honest. That was kind of what I was envisioning. Oh, I wanted to do like a... Is there one from the university pack? <gasps> Ooh. Yes. That is exactly what I want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel good about that, actually. This is going to be super cute, I hope. Um, it's going to be so large and so fancy once we finish it. <sighs> Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. For my building, we're gonna do a fancy library for the university pack. Is kind of the plan. Um, very, very fancy library is what I was going for with this today. Um, it's giving bank vibes. Do you know what? It kind of is. It really actually kind of is. Um, I was thinking I would put, will I do brick stairs? I don't know, I'm not sure. We can do the stairs on, like, the sides. You know, and have, like, a... Something fancy. I guess we'll see what, but... Something like this, I feel like, would be cool. There could be, like, a... I don't know. And a big front door? Yes, exactly. I hope this is wide enough. Is anything from university big enough? Mm. 
That is quite fancy, I will say. That is quite fancy. Is it fancy enough? Fountain in the center. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? There's actually some really nice fountains. There's, um... Oh, the wedding one is good. But I was thinking about, like... Whoa, probably not this one. <laughs> um, that, although, would kind of fit good. I kind of liked the idea of this one, because this one from Mantic Garden stuff, you're, there's, like, gameplay involved in it. Your sims can, like, um, sit on the edge and, like, splash in it and throw coins into it and stuff. So there's, like, actual gameplay on this, which might be kind of good. The wedding one is pretty, though, because it's, like, fancier. But this one has more, I don't know. I'll let them both sit there so we can think about it. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what I want yet. <laughs> we'll have to think about it. Um, Discover University. What do we think about something like... That's gonna look weird from the top floor, but we can maybe have this be open in the front. I don't know. And with the gameplay, you think? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. The gameplay one is probably more worthwhile. So, it needs to be cozier to white. Well, there's gonna be like some pretty serious brick everywhere. <laughs> so, um, I was gonna do white accents, but. Um, I don't know if I want to use this brick or not. This is very dramatic to me. Um, I want like a... That's city living brick. You'd use a plain brick? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. I don't like how this looks. I feel like I need something else up there, but I'll, I'll think about it. Um, hmm. This is the Sunset Valley Town Hall. It kind of looks like that, doesn't it? <laughs> it actually does seem that way. Um, ugly. What do you guys think? I think I liked the city living one better. I also think that I want it to be skinnier by just a little bit. Oh, it's like so big though. Oh my god. Um, should there be like a... I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do back there. This brick is a bit calmer on the eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll think about it. Sometimes I feel like it helps me to just put one there and like look at it for a little. You know what I mean? I realize that might sound kind of silly, but like genuinely, I, I feel like it helps me to just let it sit there and like soak it in. <laughs> Because the longer I stare at it, the more I can tell if I like it or not, you know? Um, it's like sometimes I need to have it be there for a little bit just so I can, like, soak in the vibes. <laughs> yeah, you either, like, decide you like it or you're like, no, this is ugly. I gotta change it. So, that helps. Um, yeah, it does, look, it does look like the Sunset Valley City Hall. That's kind of what I like about it, to be honest. Um, it's kind of channeling Sunset Valley in a good way. Um, what are the, the neighboring ones have like metal roofs. Do we want that? I don't think I like that. I don't know. I don't know. What do you have? Metal. That one's got like... Hmm. Again, might have to let it soak in for a little bit. We'll have to see how it goes. 
Um, not entirely sure what I'm going for yet, so we'll have to see. Um, how are those placed? Are those right? Hmm. They look terrible from the inside. That's okay. That is okay. What other windows do you think would be good? Because I do like the sort of fancy vibes of these university ones, but... Oh, these ones are pretty good too. Oh. That might be better because they're even bigger. Yeah, it's probably better. Those are really nice. Did we get medium wall height versions of that? Oh. Interesting. They're a little bit skinnier than the other ones are. They're kind of a different vibe. I do like those though. And we have these, which are also a little bit of a different vibe. This is the same as the door. They gave us like five different window sets in university. It kind of complicates things, I won't lie. I don't know why they did that. Hmm. I wish that these columns were a little bit thicker too, but I don't know if... Oh. These are the ones from university. Is that better? It's kind of fancier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. Whenever they give us these like the window sets that we get, I always struggle with this so much in this game because when they give us these packs, they give you like a handful of really good windows, but there's like never enough to be the, the full set of my dreams. Does that make sense? Like I always feel like I need a couple more variants of the windows and a couple other sizes for it to be like an actual full set, you know? Um, and I always struggle with that so much. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a different roof here on this part, but I just wanna like try and make it the right height. So let me try and copy this, oops. Okay. That'll be good. But I always think that it's why I never use any of the windows from Realm of Magic, because I just feel like Realm of Magic doesn't have enough. It needs like a couple other size variants for me to be able to use it easily. Because there's like all these cool windows, but they're like so small when you try and put them on the big walls. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I need like a full set of sizes. That's why I use the base game ones a lot and like the seasons and cats and dogs ones a lot, because the seasons and cats and dogs ones, there's so many different options, you can use them like in so many different ways. It just works out a lot better with the seasons and cats and dogs ones. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put windows here. I just don't know which ones yet, so I haven't done it yet. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> I just don't know which ones I want. Um, should I use the high school year stuff here? It's kind of a different vibe. But... Oh, no. I don't like that at all. No, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. Honestly, vampires is kind of like that, but taller. Did we get a thingy from university? Yeah, no, they didn't give us a... Maybe this base game one. It's always hard to figure out, like, what style you want to go for with the 
exterior. That looks kind of like that, right? Just fancier? I don't know. Maybe just no fence? Ah, I kind of want to have some sort of fancier fence. I think I might do down here, like a fancy planter box too. Because I feel like that might be kind of cute in front of the building. So. Black metal fence, do you think? We'll have to, we'll let it sit there and we'll think about it for a little bit. Um, thank you all again, by the way, like so much for all the subs and stuff the past few minutes. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> I am very, very grateful. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I can catch up, but thank you. <laughs> uh, the stairs are giving college library, good. Stairs giving college library is exactly what I need. So that's perfect. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think like, what did the original one look like again? Not that I want it to look like that, but Laurel Library Sims 4. Oh my. Oh, we could get a statue. That might be kind of cool. They'd probably have one of those. Here, look. This is the default library, so I'm kind of trying to use this as like a frame of reference. Can you see that? There you go. Um, no, I got it away. But this is not really giving us a lot to work with. Um, so, <laughs> we'll have to think. Eliza, there's no one knows if the horse pack is real, unfortunately. That was a, that was a leak. Um, from from a unclear if reputable source. So no one knows if that leak was real or not. Um, we'll have to wait until we get any more news, but we're not sure. <laughs> we are not sure. Um, let's see, university again. How big are you? How big are you? Do you think I could use these ones with the round in the front at least? Maybe I could put it above. Maybe that would be cool as the front entrance. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to go, I don't know if you guys saw, but I was looking at, and this is a little bit smaller, so it looks better, but. I was using this image of this library as my, the vibes I was going for. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That door isn't as good. Are there any other doors that might be good? Oh my. This one is from high school years. So slightly different vibe. Oh, different colors too. Probably won't work, this one's better. Um, yeah, I think this is the best one we could get. Probably the best one we can get. And we want to get like a fancy light on the wall outside. Yeah, that door is good. That will work. I don't know, should we then do like the simple? windows like just the small squares because it's in the smaller area i don't know if this column vibe that i went for is a good idea or not it has to be smaller please what you think the whole thing should be smaller i don't know there's not really a lot happening here. Don't change it, okay. I'm also, I think, gonna get, I feel like we have to put some sort of landscaping here to hide the stairs being ugly. Two banners, maybe? Oh my god, if there was a banner, wait. Let me look at, like, the wall stuff from university, because I'm picturing, like, 
I think there's one from high school years that might be better actually, but let me save some of these things. Do you know what? These flags might be good too. We'll have to think about that. So I'll save them for a second. But high school years has, um, high school years has like that long banner. It's gonna be the high school theme instead of the college. But look at this. This thing has some swatches that might be good sized up. Do you see like this vibe? Oh, might be a little bit too big. But you see what I'm talking about? Can I not copy you? Come here. It just doesn't have like, Maybe I could put it in the red swatch for both. It's giving museum. <laughs> Maybe you could put two. I don't know. Do you think it would look weird if it was layered again? Yeah, maybe. Darker blue would be pretty. Well, there is a blue one. These are kind of like the colors of, um, of the pack. Oh, I can't click on it. Cause we could do like one green, one red for the two universities, but too short. Yeah, it is a little short, but sized up it was like a little bit too big. Cause I can't very easily, I wish you could alt place columns. I feel like it looks weird when it fills the whole thing. Or does it? I don't know, can you tell what I'm going for? Have I saved yet? No. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it looks less fancy. Yeah, I guess it does, but. Smaller was better, you think? Okay. I kind of like smaller better too. We need to figure out something else to go here on the sides. We also need to like, maybe once we start filling in more of this, this space, like once we put all of the pathways in and stuff, maybe it'll feel better to us. So maybe we just need to like add in some more on the exterior and then figure it out from there. Um, okay. Two trees and fake pots. Oh, we could probably put like a skinny tree on the, oh, that's quite big. Maybe not. We could do like a bush or something size down. Maybe if I had these in pots. Ivy instead. Well, Ivy is good, but Ivy might not fill in the vibes as much as we need. Um, I might put some Ivy, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I don't know if it's debug from university, right? I need to get like, I think before I get into that, there is like quite a few Things. Could you imagine if we did it like this? <laughs> Something like this would be honestly kind of the vibes that we need. Like a big giant fancy planter. Would it actually look like that? I don't know. Is this extremely unrealistic? Maybe. It'll be fine though. I feel like that helps. <laughs> we need to get a lot more landscaping in, but it'll start coming together, I think. Okay, is it only base game? No, we're using, so far there's university, high school years, romantic garden stuff. It's, it's probably gonna end up being quite a few packs actually, um, unfortunately. Um, oh my God. I don't think I knew that this had a rainbow swatch. Oh, that's amazing. 
Did you guys know that there was a rainbow swatch on this? I swear I've never seen that before. That's so good. I don't know if I want to put banners out front. I will I'll keep it here for a second so I can think about it, but I don't know how I want to space this out yet, so. But I totally didn't know that we had that. That's so good. The thumbnail swatch? Yeah, there this is like the university uh, banner set, so it looks like this by default. Which is why I don't usually click on it, because like I don't usually think about this when I'm doing non very specific university builds. <laughs> so I didn't know it had that swatch. I'm sure I've seen it before, but I just kind of didn't realize that it was on this, you know? That's a great swatch. Because you would never think that, like, this thing in the catalog would have that cute swatch. No, it's not special for Pride Month. It's just there, if that's what you mean, Ockers. Um, like, I mean, if we used it, it could be, but <laughs> I mean, that's not, like, an addition for Pride Month. It's just been there for a few years, so. Um... Oh yeah, Alyssa, I'm gonna pick a different path too. I just haven't finished it yet. So don't worry, we'll we'll pick a different path completely, probably. Um I just haven't I just haven't decided what I want it to look like yet. Um Yeah, we simply found it during Pride Month, exactly. We didn't know it was there before. Um I'm sure some of you did. I just had never seen that swatch before. Um Okay. So, that's four wide instead of only three wide, which is inconvenient to say the least, but everything else is three wide. How I feel about this as the layout for all the paths? I don't know. Um, Catherine, you're asking about the Discord roles. Uh, I don't know if the mods are caught up. They are manual, though, so I don't know if they've done them or not. We usually do it after we get off stream, um, just because it's, uh, easier that way, so. <laughs> um, hopefully that makes sense, though. Um, I don't know how I want this to be. I have to think about it. At a playground for little kids. I think that I'm probably not gonna focus too much on. Usually, when I do libraries, I do include like kids' spaces. Um, but I think because this one is like the college library, and it's it's so like university focused, I'm probably gonna focus only on stuff for like the uni things as opposed to adding kids stuff like I normally would. Does that make sense? Um, cause normally I would put more kid stuff, but I think with this one I might not. Um, I don't know. Okay. Okay. I think this is coming along rather nicely, I must say. Okay, do it like that. Good landscaping. I don't really know what I want the back of this to look like. <laughs> I didn't really think that part through. So, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Um, we shall see. The mods just told me the rolls are caught up. And there was like 50 plus after I mentioned it on stream. So, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. But there you go. They are they are caught up. So if you redeem the Discord role, you should have it. Um Okay. Okay. How do I want to do this? Do I want to have columns there? I don't know. The mods, no just me. Okay, it was it was not the mods. It was one singular mod. <laughs> it was Steve that did it. Um no one else. Just one. All by themselves. That's a lot of Discord rolls. <laughs> okay, um... Let me get these windows on the side over here. Um, I really like these windows. To me, these are so beautiful. <laughs> I like genuinely really, really like how that looks so much. Um, 
What does the Discord role do? Oh, it's just a fun uh, feature for you to have. It's a fun bonus because it makes you look cool on the server. You get access to um, a couple special channels, changes your name color and stuff. But it, at the end of the day, it's it's more so just like a fun thing for people to be able to have, if that makes sense. Um, kind of like celebrates people who spend time in the streams, so. Is there a clown channel? Well, there's not a, there's no one that has the clown role yet. At least as far as I'm aware. Unless somebody redeemed it and I didn't see. I don't think anybody has the clown role yet. <laughs> so there isn't a clown channel yet, because I don't think anybody has it. <laughs> Unless someone does have it, in which case, I guess I should make one. No, it's just me and Christine. Julia did too? Why don't I only see one member in the Discord server that has it? So there's two people, Julia got it too. Oh, I didn't see. Oh no, now I feel bad. <laughs> now I feel bad. Okay, there's there's three of us that have the clown roll. So <laughs> it would just be us talking to ourselves. <laughs> Who's Christine? Christine's one of my mods. Um, and the clown roll is the new 1 million points roll that we just made today. Well, I made it a few days ago, but I only talked about it on stream today because it's new and I wasn't streaming the past few days. Um, Julia is a winner though. That's amazing. Hey, Abby, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. You caught us at a, at a fun time, actually. We are um, currently building a very fancy library <laughs> with the university pack. Uh, there is this like really cool book kit, uh, like book pack that just came out for The Sims 4. Um, and so we thought it would be kind of fun to build with it and try and do like a really fancy library in the university world. So that's what we've been up to. Um, we're getting somewhere. It's not quite there yet, <laughs> but we're getting somewhere. Um, anyway, how was your stream? Welcome in everybody. It's good to see you. Um, okay. Uh, maybe I pick a different... I have an idea. I really like this. To me, this is like one of my favorite out of all of the floorings. I just think it's nice. Maybe I could do that and then one of the other, hold on. I need to think about something. I kind of want to put like a different gravel. Maybe I'll get debug. Um, but maybe we could put some like gravel underneath this part. Does that look good? No, we don't have a flooring that matches this identically, unfortunately. Otherwise I would use it. <laughs> There's debug flooring. There's some debug swatches of the gravel. Um, I could not tell you why. I think they're like roof swatches or something. I don't know, but they're debug, so. They are in there instead. Uh, but they would walk up to the fountain, so we want to have it not be grass, you know? Um, anyway. Put one of those little fences around the gravel. Yeah, but I want people to be able to walk up to it. Maybe we could have it have a little fence but be open in some places? I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Maybe cow plants in the yard? Oh, good. What we really need is for us to have death traps. <laughs> what we really need is death traps. Um, okay. Um, I don't think I want to put a fence. And I don't think I want to put cow plants either. A vending machine? Okay, I, I actually will put a vending machine. I, I actually probably will put a vending machine. <laughs> to be honest, I think that's kind of a good idea. <laughs> the vending machine, I'll allow. Um, telescope, probably, too. Um, do you guys think that we would be able to have, like... Maybe if I did it like this. 
and I put some sort of greenery in that section. I need to expand this or scoot it, I mean, again, but I feel like that could be kind of good. I think that's reasonable. And then I can just, why did this delete my, maybe I deleted it, I don't know. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Starting to look a little fancy, which is what I wanted. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, I'm gonna try and read some subs for a sec, bear with me. Uh, Vera, Caitlin, Cass, Alex, Laura, Jenny, Norris, Rudin, Laurel, Amazing Grace, Rebel, Katie, Lucy, TT. oh my god, Tardis, Lavender, Angie, Rachel, Kings, I'm sorry, I have not caught up. I'm really, in my defense, I didn't read subs for the entire month of May because of the charity fundraiser, and I'm a little out of practice. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of practice, I'm sorry, bear with me. Um, okay, I feel pretty good about this though. I'm not so sure about the back. I feel like the back definitely could use some help. Maybe I'll put doors here. That might be nice. Oh, that actually looks pretty good, I think. Doors in the sides. Okay. Out of practice? Never. <laughs> no, I was so- I, I didn't read subs during the whole charity fundraiser. Um, so I- obviously I was like focusing on the donations and stuff, so. Anyway, balcony. Do you think up here, they had a balcony in the original building. So it might be kind of cool to have a balcony there on this version as well, but I never know. Um, we'll be adding easels. Yeah, we're gonna have to add some easels. We're gonna need to add easels and like all kinds of um, different sorts of skill building objects. We got a whole long list of things we want to add in like that. Um, what, honest question, what sort of texture would a balcony on something like this be? Like, why don't, tiles, gravel, do you think? I don't know. You think stone? Probably. It probably wouldn't be wood. Um. Okay. That seems good. Marble? Oh. Oh. Can you not go all the way up there? Well, that defeats the purpose of what I just did. <laughs> oh my. Hold on. This game is weird. Put that there, and then I want to get some sort of flooring. Like this. Does it not want to go up because of the freeze? Huh. I don't really know what to do about that information. So, it's because the balcony is a room? Uh, I can't really change that, can I? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think it doesn't want to go up because of the freeze, but maybe I could like, well we can't, I don't want to use the freeze all over the place here. Cause that's like not the vibes. Oh my God. Cause the door is too big. Is there anything small wall height from university then? Ugly. Oh my God. <laughs> Those are terrible and not the vibes at all. Okay. Um, maybe if we got like I bet one of the base game doors would be fine. Because that would fit. It's just kind of annoying, but... It does fit. The Strangerville doors wouldn't fit either, because they're medium wall height. This is medium wall height, but because it's, um... Like, the whole thing is... On a... 
what's it called, with the freeze, it looks like short wall height because it makes it smaller. Does that make sense? Um, I think that looks good though. I feel like that's kind of fine, to be honest. Okay. That should do for the, the layout of the windows. I can work with this. It's gonna be really fancy. <laughs> should we do the floor plan first and then come back to figure out like other small exterior details? Have I saved? Oh, not in a while. Good call. <laughs> yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. You're right. That would be smart of us to do, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Will there be a kid's area? No, dog, so we kind of talked about that because this is going to be a university library for the university world. We're like really focusing on the stuff for older Sims um, and not so much focusing on the stuff for kids. Like normally when I would build something like this, I would put like kids things in here, but because this one is like specifically for university. I don't think I will do a kids section, you know? With like toys and stuff. Kids do come here cause it in game is like the same as a regular library, but I think I would prefer if we didn't do that. You know? Um, okay. I think I might do the entrance kind of like this. We'll have like a formal entryway with some cool stairs. And then maybe we could do a cute like, yeah, like a studying library in a university. So it's gonna be very, very formal and fancy on the inside. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That is very, very cool. I don't know if I like this or not. I might want to use a different one. Maybe I'll use this one instead. I don't like the wire things in there. Well, those look kind of skinny though. Uh, I think I'll use this. No, maybe I won't. What do you think? Should I let it sit? Do we like the wood on the floors? Oh, I liked the wood on the floors, do you not? If the bottom front windows are uneven or it's your eyes. Oh, they are uneven. These are a little bit lower. It's because I got F5 quarter tile placement on. <laughs> um, I would have fixed it, don't worry. Okay, I think that we need to get a relatively fancy archway. There's not a lot of options. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? <laughs> That's so dramatic for, <laughs> for like a regular university. That might be a little bit much. I might need to go for something, for something simpler. Even just like that might be okay. I do like it, but I think it's a little dramatic with it being round. The groin together arch is, uh, it's short. It's only short wall height. This one is medium wall height. So it's a little bit like, more fitting. The groin other one is too small. I can show you, but it, the groin together one would look really weird and tiny if we did it. Growing together. Do you see how much shorter that is? Isn't that like kind of, I don't know. I like how this one fills up more space, I think. Um, but anyway, too short, yeah. <laughs> it looks very small. <laughs> with this wall height, so. Okay, we need to have some big bookshelves. We also need to do bathrooms. Hmm. Do you know what? I might actually, oh no, come back. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, it decided to work again. No? 
Oh my god. Am I adding a kid's corner? No, because it's gonna be a university library, so we're gonna focus more on like college student type stuff. Oh my. Well, I was gonna say, maybe I will remove these windows downstairs, and I'll have these two sides both be bathrooms. Click inside the build, maybe? I don't know if that's gonna make a... This is being weird because of this room. Um, maybe I could build some wall- freeze- I'm gonna come back to that. The freezes are so annoying in this game. It's like, actually unbearable <laughs> how annoying the freezes are. Ugh. Delete a fence piece? Yeah, we might have to. Um, I think that the room is kind of throwing it off, but... Yeah, that's not a room anymore. So maybe if I did it so it's not a room. And I took this and I put it... Oh wait, hold on. Put this right here. There we go. That's not a room anymore, so it should be fine. It is a fake room. <laughs> um. Financial aid to get the roof not to clip. Do you see how the roof is like ended right there? I have it lined up against the wall so it won't clip. Otherwise it would clip. <laughs> it's just lined up against the wall. That's why it's not clipping. Does that make sense? Um, I would like to get some bathroom stalls. There's gonna be a lot of toilets in this build actually. Six to be exact. But that's all right. It'll be helpful. Um, we'll get a bathroom door and a bathroom door. I'll figure out like how they'll look in a second. But what's a dream job slash career you'd like in the game? Do you know what my answer? <sighs> I have an answer, but it's not really a career in the sense that the careers in The Sims 4 are careers. Because my answer is more of like a, um, more similar to like the vet situation, how you run your own business. But I would love, absolute dream pack right now is hotels. Visiting hotels and running your own hotel like in The Sims 3. But also, chat saying daycare, daycare is one of my other top picks. Also running a daycare like in The Sims 3. But I would love to run my own hotel. That's like top of my list absolute dream pack at the moment is to run my own hotel. Um, kind of like in The Sims 3 that hopefully maybe works a little bit better. <laughs> would be what I would like to have happen. Is this university or is this the one from high school years? No, it's university. Okay. Okay. That's cute. Feel like it'd be so buggy? Yeah, probably, but I still would like it. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I still want it, you know? It's like my dream. Um, let's see, lighting. Yeah, if we didn't, that's kind of my thought too, because we didn't get a daycare career in Growing Together. I don't know if they'd give us a daycare career, just in general. I feel like if we were gonna get daycare, we would have gotten daycare. Which sucks, because I want daycare. <laughs> like, so bad. I want a daycare career so bad. But I feel like if they were gonna do it, they would have. You know? But, anyway. Daycare kit? I don't know if they could... I don't know if they could get away with doing a small pack for daycare anymore after they like didn't add it in the the baby pack, you know? Cuz people are going to read it as like them trying to take our money by making us pay extra for another pack for it, you know? So I don't know if they could ever do that. Should I do this with black? I kind of like that better. What is daycare? Well, in The Sims 3, there was this career where you could run an at-home daycare where you were like a babysitter. Um 
and sims would bring their toddlers to your house and you would take care of them during the day and then they would come pick them up and so you would like be a caregiver to some little babies in the sims 3 uh, as your job and you would like run it at your house though it was actually kind of fun <laughs> i really liked it um okay i think that maybe having I don't know, I kind of want to have like a, um, should we do like a hallway or something? Maybe these could both be offices off the front. So they're like smaller spaces or like maybe like some closed off, um, some closed off rooms for like studying. And then maybe upstairs we could have and this might also be kind of silly because it's a little bit tight, but maybe upstairs there could be one for robotics and one for speech and debate. Kind of tight. I guess it's okay if they're tight though, because in real life they might be kind of small. I don't know. I don't know. It's an old building is what I mean, so. Okay, books. No, not again. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. What do you think you're doing, game? Why is this happening to me? <sighs> okay. So, game, I just want you to know that I hate you. <laughs> I hate The Sims 4. <laughs> Why do you think it's doing that? Is it because this part is a room too? Build ceiling. <sighs> Can I just leave that like that for a while? I think it might actually be a visual glitch. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna revisit that when I feel more emotionally prepared to deal with it, which is not right now. I, in fact, do not feel prepared at all to deal with that right now. So, <laughs> Archer, Cap, Karen, Maria, Unity, Poets, thank you for the, for the subs. I'm gonna have to come back to you. You're really upsetting me, game, so. One step at a time, okay. Um, do I want to do a, f no, maybe I'll just leave it with no, because I kind of like that. And then I was thinking that we'd do bookshelves. This is my chance to use the kits. So excited about this, truly. So, so, so excited about this. Um, I'm gonna get myself so many bookshelves, you have no idea. I'm gonna have walls and walls and walls of bookshelves in this building. Um, can you go away? I'm gonna cover this whole corner. I think this is gonna be so cool. This is what I've been dreaming of! I'm so excited! <laughs> We need like a book ladder or something, you know what I mean? I just think that's so beautiful. And then we can change the swatches of the middle to make them more different, but... I just think that looks so cool. Oh. My god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they don't go to the full height because of the freeze. I didn't know.
notice that about these ones in the middle. Everyone, um, we are back to almost crying about The Sims 4 again. It's becoming a near daily occurrence. What's the freeze? It's this thing that's very glitchy right now. It's that. Get rid of it. I. It looks so good from the outside though. Like I can't, it looks so good from the outside. I, I actually like how it looks a lot from the outside. So I wouldn't get rid of it. I'm just gonna complain about it, but I want you all to know that I hate it. And it hurts my feelings. Okay. Let's go down here and fill this up. Add the freeze later. I don't think that's the problem. It's just they're, they're kind of glitchy. So no matter what, it's just gonna be weird. We kind of have to work around it. It's not, it's not a new problem. Like, I'm used to it, <laughs> unfortunately. It doesn't make it any less annoying, though. But it, it just, they just are like that. Which sucks, because they're cute. Oh my god, I love those giant book walls. There's a debug ladder in Cats and Dogs. Is there really? Am I on live edit? Show live edit objects. Let me go look. Does it match or is it like, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Um, cats and dogs, you say there is a ladder. We will find out. Um, do you know what? These like bird things are actually kind of fun. Maybe I could put some like feathers in somebody's office. Why? I don't know. Maybe they have feathers in their office. Seems like the kind of thing a fancy librarian would have. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, debug ladder, debug ladder. You know, let's tell me if I scrolled past it, because I might have. Ooh. Shell would like that. Um, I might have scrolled past it. I did. Yeah. Ooh. Um, are you sure? I don't know if I need one. It's probably going to be the wrong color anyway. So I think it's all right. I think it's all right. Doesn't look like a ladder. It looks like two sticks. Oh, really? Well, that would explain why I scrolled past it. Um... That's one stick. That's two sticks. Two sticks. Well, they have so many good things in debug. Um, I don't know. Here next to it. Oh, was I right next to it before? Oh. There you go. Um, is that gonna be too... I think the color is wrong. That is cool. But I feel like... I don't know if it works for our purposes. You know what I mean? Because it's not the same color as the books. But that's definitely something to consider for the future. Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna use it because I think the color is too wrong and it's bothering me. But I like that idea, so I'm glad you pointed that out because I didn't know that was there. Because you wouldn't, I mean, it just looks like a something plain in debug. Um, okay, so we need to get in here. Um, ideally, we would have like a really nice, um, counter for them to check in and out the books. So I'd like to get that together. Um, 
And then we'll have to put, I don't know, computers places. This actually feels smaller than I thought it would. <laughs> this is the university world, Maddie. We're, we're rebuilding the university library. Um, so that's what we're up to right now. Trying to make university stuff. It's in Brightchester. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know what color cabinets to use. Maybe if I did it like all wood. I realize this is very dark, okay? But I'm sort of feeling like maybe, oh, oh no, that won't work. I think that about these too, cause like I don't really wanna have the I don't want to have the corner be like that, <laughs> you know? I want it to be plain. Um, maybe it's okay if they have a curtain on the inside. Maybe I can try and give them a door like right here. I kind of like that. I feel like it checks out. Maybe I'll put a couple computers in here for the employees. Yeah, the curtain has all of our like little librarian important things. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I wanna have like a desk chair. The problem, in, problem is there isn't a desk chair that matches this. That's why I usually end up using like this as the chair for the counter. We've made a bathroom. Oh, we have got two bathrooms. There's one on either side. Oops, I didn't rotate that around yet. Um, maybe if we had like yellow chair. I don't know. I might change the colors of it. Let me let me think about it before we get to. Oh my god, there's so many book things. I'm so excited. The book kit stuff is gonna be so perfect. I was thinking we would use this in like the front of it too. Uh, we'll ha we have to use this probably a few times because this thing is so perfect, but I mean, come on. Can we try some brighter flooring? Well, I'm actually gonna try, and this might seem like not your vibes, and that's okay, but I'm trying to make this, like I'm picturing this as a library at like the oldest university in the country. And the library was built like ages ago. So they've got some like original fancy hardwood floors, you know, like they're, we're trying to kind of go back <laughs> and, and go for that sort of vibe um, as we're building this here, which might be different than the vibe that you're hoping for, but that's kind of what I was thinking about as I was building it, basically. Yeah, it was like built in the 1800s. I don't know. Um, I think it's cool though. Um, is there any like cool wall decor from university that might, but like it's in the town of Brightchester. It's like kind of associated with Brightchester, Brightchester University. Like it's supposed to be kind of older. This is the menu. <laughs> um, maybe I could put a couple of these like, this is a learning embetterment award. Those might be cute on the wall over here. I was gonna put a door right here, so. How do the employees escape from the desk? I'm gonna put a door here. Don't worry. <laughs> I will put a door, I promise. <laughs> I didn't forget, I didn't forget, I swear. Um, I'm just not sure what I want it to look like yet. Is university worth it? Oh my goodness. Do you know what? University, honestly, is one of my favorite packs. I don't play with it that much, if I'm being real with you. But when I do play with it, I think it's so fun. The fact that it came with two universities, I feel like is a really, really cool touch. Because in The Sims 3, which is my main like point of reference for things, 
in The Sims 3, we only had one university, and you had to, like, travel to it, and you couldn't be in university and do other things. You were, like, only in university. If you were pregnant, you couldn't go because kids couldn't live there. Um, you couldn't have pets or anything. You would, like, be in that world for a little bit, and it was, like, a separate, like, side quest almost. Um, and in The Sims 4, you can apply and then get into two schools, and one's better for, like, techie, math, science stuff. One's better for, like, history, language arts stuff. Um, and, and if your sim has better skills, they can get into the prestige one. And I just think it's really interesting. Um, and, like, a serious improvement from the older Sims games in that way. Like, I think university is pretty cool. It's also, like, genuinely kind of hard, I feel like. Um, and I say that in, like, a positive way, because I feel like sometimes The Sims 4 can be too easy. Um, but university is, like, actually kind of hard to succeed, and it takes some work, so... Um, I, I actually think it's kind of fun. But it's one of those things where, um, not everybody is gonna like it, you know? Like, not everybody's gonna like all of the packs. It, it might be kind of a personal preference thing, but I like it. <laughs> I had fun with it, so... Um, no, no. Should we put, like, a big sign in the back? Right, Chester Crest. That seems cool, right? Have we saved recently? No. <laughs> Oops. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, I like that. Oh my god, Lucy! Hi! I met you in Chicago! That's so cool! That's so, so, so cool. Um, you were at the concert. That's amazing. I met a few people um, at the concert in Chicago, so that was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> I'm glad. Well, you probably met Hope too then. Maybe you didn't say hi, but Goose Kingdom in the chat was also there. <laughs> um, that's super cool. I'm glad, to, I'm glad we got a chance to meet. That's so fun. Um, but anyway, how was it? Oh, it was so good. Highlight of my life. I'm not exaggerating. I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> I know some people that saw me. It was, it actually kind of made me laugh because there were some people, I could tell they were like, what the heck are you doing here? Because they maybe didn't watch my stream, so they didn't know that I was going to the show in Chicago. And they were like, don't you live in Florida? <laughs> and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm staying at my grandma's house right now. <laughs> I loved that. I thought it was fun. <laughs> um, it's, it's funny when that sort of thing happens. Um, okay. Okay. Am I gonna do all those books like that? It's kind of a lot, but like maybe in a good way. I don't know. Oh, hi, Dad. How are you? Um. Oh, this was a hilarious thing that happened also. I don't know how many of you remember, you probably do, some of you that have been around for a while, but you might, you might know Brayden and Nova, also some mods. Um, from like back in the day like these are like people that have been around for years like five plus years brayden and nova well they were also going to the concert in chicago um <laughs> and we had made plans to like we didn't have the same seats but we had made plans to at least like say hi to them like you know meet up once we got into the stadium and stuff well we were texting and they were like oh you know i'm on my way we're like oh us too we get there and they're like oh we just parked and we're like oh we just parked and they're like where and we're like the south lot and they're like we just parked in the south lot. And then I was like, okay, so they probably, because they're parking like cars in order. I was like, they have to be right near us. So I'm kind of looking around. I look to my left. They were in the car next to us. They got parked. And like they were, they got there at the exact same time as us. Exact same time as us. And they were parked in the car next to us. <laughs> literally right next to us i look over and then i just see them sitting in the back seat we both like crack up laughing like what are the chances of that because we didn't plan that like we just happened to get there at the exact same time and they parked right next to us and we didn't like they were telling us where to park you know it's kind of like a disney where they're just parking you in rows and they're just like kind of keep pulling you in anyway it was so weird really funny timing but uh, it worked out pretty well because <laughs> we, we had to look for them they're right there <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, what, seriously, what are the chances of that happening? So I really, um, I really enjoyed that, I must say. <laughs> okay, let's try and get some desks. 
I think I'll do desks with computers upstairs. Um, um, probably not these, because these ones don't fit the computers right. Look at this, it's so annoying. You see how it's like off the edge? They're all like that. This desk sucks, so you can't use it. <laughs> it is a stupid desk. Um, mm -mm. Not fancy enough. Maybe like, I guess just plain wooden desks are probably fine. Right? Never noticed that? Oh, I've noticed that since it first came out and it's always bothered me so much. I like refuse to use that desk because of it. I'm sorry if you didn't know and now I've ruined your experience. <laughs> I'm really sorry to, to have that effect on you. Um, but yeah, it's really annoying how it does that. I like how it looks like it's fancy, but the computers don't fit right because they all slot to the same place. Um, what'd you notice? Sorry. Oh, look, I'll show you again. The university desk, um, because it like goes in a little bit. Do you see that compared to these desks? How it has like the in part right here. The computers don't fit right on it. They're hanging off the edge. So, um, horrible actually. <laughs> Add empty shelves. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and uh, change the swatches and stuff soon. I just wanna get like the main layout figured out. I think first. Um, so like my surprise songs. Oh my God, Taylor played, um, Taylor played at our concert. Uh, she played You All Over Me and brought out Marin Morris. So fun. And then on the piano, she played, um, you know that song from Fifty Shades with Zayn Malik, I Don't Wanna Live Forever? I used to love that song when I was younger. It was like my two worlds colliding. It wasn't One Direction anymore because it was Zayn Malik, he left and stuff. But like, I was obsessed with One Direction and obsessed with Taylor Swift. So that song was like, I was so excited about it. <laughs> I really like that song. It kind of was a surprise. Like I didn't really expect her to sing that, um, but I I really liked it. I thought it was really good, uh, and she's such so good at singing it too. She sounded amazing. I really was excited about that. Um, but yeah, it was like a serious surprise song. I did not expect her to sing that one. She does at her concerts. She always has a, a an acoustic set, and she sings two different songs every night um, of the tour. And so you don't really know what she's gonna sing in that acoustic set, obviously, um, which is what we mean by surprise song. So it was pretty cool. Um, it was pretty cool. Yeah, the base game unlockable desk is fancy, but I don't know if they would have like this degree of fancy desk for like student tables. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I'll use these chairs though, but I feel like they probably wouldn't have like that kind of desk for just like the student computers. Um, the drawers are like kind of useless in a public space like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. We need waste disposal. We need a chess table too. Maybe I'll put the chess table like right here. That's kind of a funny location for it, but. Maybe in the offices then? Yeah, I think so, probably. Um, that's from university, there you go. Not the 114 out of three bookshelves. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, do you guys think I have enough bookshelves? It's hard to say. Um, there's no way to know for sure. <laughs> Maybe I should add some more. <laughs> I think we, we probably are uh, not really having enough there, so. Um, I want the debate thingy. Only wants three in a library? Yeah, I think that um, the reason it only wants the three in a library is because it gives you the chance to build like a quite small library. So if you wanted to do it on like a 20 by 15 lot, it would still be functional. So it just tells you how many is like the minimum for making a functional building, basically. Um, I don't think your sims can get around that. Maybe they can. Do you think they can? 
I bet they... That's the only amount of space that it technically requires. So it's probably fine. I wanted to do, my thought was that we could do one room here that had like speech and debate stuff. And then the other room could have robotic stuff. You'd turn it. Yeah, but I wanna have seats. I'm gonna bring a sim here and test it, I think. Um, I feel like it's totally fine. I can, I can assume, but. In between the window? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what I'm planning on doing, Ari, because I don't want to put it in between the window because I want to put seats there in front of it as if like Sims were coming to watch the speech. Come here, Stanley. Oh, he's fine. That's what I thought. It says how much space they need, so I figured it would be fine, but it's definitely fine. Confirmed, it is definitely fine. But I kind of wanted to do it like this so that like people could come watch their speeches. That was sort of what I was envisioning, you know? I think that's cool. And then we can get a robotics set up as well in the library, maybe two of them. These things are dangerous. I'm serious, like watch out so your sims don't die. You gotta be careful. Um, cool. Is this pack restricted? Um, I've used quite a few packs already, so. Smoke alarm? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Um, do they actually need a fire alarm? Maybe I could put this. <laughs> In case of fire, run. <laughs> Are the easels gonna be outside? Yeah, I think I might put some outside. I feel like I just want to have robotic stations because it's so useful. There would be still out in a quiet library. Oh, maybe you're right, actually. Maybe we shouldn't have them. I do want to get vending machines. Where should I put the vending machines? Should I have them by the bathrooms or should they be in the entrance? Snack vending machine. Maybe I'll get a hot eats vending machine in the bathroom by the bathroom mm, yeah okay i don't really like the vibes of this it's kind of bright i kind of liked it in the entrance because that way it's like in the tile section and then it's not affecting our beautiful library. We need like a hallway of sorts. I don't know. Snacking and eating area maybe? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it looks better in the entrance. Let me change the colors of these too. Cause we can try and make them less dramatic in color scheme and that might help us also and then your sims can come eat against the stairs oh i guess maybe that might be okay we'll have to figure out the entrance afterward scrap one of the bathrooms i like the bathrooms being symmetrical though obviously i i'm aware that like we don't need to have the two bathrooms and it might make more sense to only have one and then we'd have space, but I don't want to have like a full kitchen area. Um, I kind of want to have like a smaller, I need a waste disposal, a sink and a living chair still. But I think for the chair situation, Discover University. I don't really, these are kind of dramatic. <laughs> I must say, these are extremely dramatic chairs. I kind of want to do a couch. 
Maybe like two chairs and a couch behind it or something. I just don't know which one. Unless we did these all the way. And we could have chair. I guess we could have the chairs like this. And then there could be like, how many? It's two tiles over. Maybe there could be tables in between them. That might be okay. All right, and then these were gonna be like, was I gonna do like offices or quiet rooms or what? Also, oh. I forgot that I need to have a way to get in here. <laughs> I forgot that I just closed this off. I was gonna put doors here. <laughs> Don't mind me. I forgot I needed to get in there somehow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. That's embarrassing. Um, I don't really like the arches. Maybe I could drag that out further. Maybe I'd like it better that way. Ooh. I do kind of like it better that way. That should be fine. Right? There's a good amount of space. I think so. This is a weird room. Okay, so I was thinking in these rooms, I was kind of imagining that we would do like tables. No, we're not gonna add a kids area to this gaming star. That's a good question because people keep asking about it. Um, but we're not gonna put a kids area on this one. My thought process kind of being that because it's supposed to be a university library, normally I totally would add a kids area, like I almost always do uh, to these sort of builds, especially when I do libraries, because this is like dedicated towards the university. I'm not really thinking about it in that way. Like I don't really wanna have um, a kids area cause I kind of want it to be more focused on the older Sims that are in the university. You know? No, Banfan, I don't do like gendered bathroom doors um, for a couple reasons. One, it's kind of like not the vibes, you know? Um, I prefer to have gender neutral bathrooms in my builds, but also gameplay wise, like aside from um, me thinking it's better to have gender, neut gender neutral bathrooms, I think that gameplay wise, it's just better because it's like less annoying. Because in game, if you have your sim like click on the toilet and then you're like, oh my God, it's the wrong bathroom because you can't see it with the walls cut away. It's annoying in game. So I wouldn't do gendered bathrooms for many reasons, but um, that's kind of my thought process there is that it's just not really, it's just not really worth it. You know, how do you get behind the desk? I'm gonna put a door right here. I just haven't done it yet. There'll be a door though, don't worry. I'm gonna put tables in between the chairs, you guys. I didn't forget, I'm gonna put tables there, don't worry. <laughs> I'll put stuff in between the chairs, don't worry, don't worry. Um, I'm gonna do research machines in this side. That's my thought process. Research, research machines over here, and then the other one's gonna be like a study room. So that you can do stuff in there. The computers are upstairs. This is gonna be for the research machines. Um, should I do them up against the wall? Should they be like, what if we did the university desks? Or the, I mean, not university, the ones from City Living. What if they were like tiled closer together so we could get more of them in? Is that weird? You've got a little bit of privacy this way. I don't know. I think I like that. And then these like random birds. <laughs> I'll place the birds more nicely after I pick wallpaper. 
I think. That seems good to me. There, and you can study in there. And then your sims can do their homework in here. I might put some like little books, book clutter on these tables as if your sims are actually studying. But um, that way your sims have a place to do their homework, you know? Okay. Let me see, can you search by focusing decor? I don't think so. I would like to. Yeah, we could put a presentation. Can you get the, there's like a pie chart presentation from, this is from the business career. It's like they've been doing a assignment for their group work. <laughs> okay, that works. Yeah, I just put them, Alani. These are the research machines right here. So we've got them. We do have the research machines. Do not worry. Um, should I do more chairs kind of like this? I don't know. And I'll do tables in between those. Can't tell what I'm going for with this. Not sure. Okay. Enough chairs? You think it is enough chairs or it's not enough? We wanna have like a lot of space for them to read. So, let me scoot these closer together. Some seats, they all face each other. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like how these are um, more individual. Put half walls or something like that between the chairs. I was gonna put tables instead of half walls because I don't really like how the half walls look. I tried that last time I built a library, so couches so you can nap. Oh my gosh, I didn't really think about that. A couch would be useful though. Maybe I'll get a couch up here. Cause we have like the same color. Cause that way your sim can actually nap. <laughs> that might come in handy to be honest. <laughs> um, that is a that is a good thing to point out, I, I feel. Um, couple tables there instead, instead of these four chairs. I guess maybe. Do you know what we could do actually? This is kind of open this way, but you know the books from, um, there are like the books, oh wait, I wanna get another one of these actually before I forget. I was thinking about trying to add another one somewhere else in the building. Maybe we could put it upstairs. But um, I was thinking about the debug books. I have to go back into debug. Cause they'll look like, um, you know those like stacks of books, like these. These might be kind of cool to have on display somehow, you know? Like they're trying to highlight some sort of new book that came out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could put it on a thinner table. Would the get to work shelves work? Ah, uh, the get to work shelves would work technically, yeah. I guess. I haven't really thought about that. Get to work. Because get to work has a grimy true crime map. No, I probably won't use that. Um, what is the one that I'm thinking of? It's like the store shelf. It looks like books, but it's like this. You can slot books to this. 
Is that worth doing? I know it's like kinda... What do you guys think about that? I like having them on display. Maybe I can put some things in here too. Cause that looks kinda cool. It's a good idea? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. That makes me feel better. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna use this anywhere. Oh my god, this is bothering me so much. Why? <laughs> ah! Okay, ignore that. Just ignore it. Amanda, thank you for 11 month resub. Thank you so much. Shelves on top. Oh, should I do the books up here? Oh, they slot in a very annoying way. Is that better though, do you think? Huh. I don't really know which ones I want. <laughs> Oh, these are cool. <gasps> these are like university course books. Oh. Maybe I should use those. Because these are like actually textbooks. There's so many of them. Oh, I really like that. Put some in the shelf as well, do you think? How much is too much? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I could get some like of these taller book sections. Maybe I could put these on the counter. On display. Might have to all place them. Not that one, I don't like that one. I like this one. That's cool, right? They're different sizes too, which is kind of fun. There's no such thing as too many books in a library. Yeah, you're probably right about that. That is probably correct. We certainly cannot have too many, I would guess. Oh, I love these university doors. I think that's so fun. Should we do that one? I don't know why it would have the like peephole thing, but I like how that looks to get back there. Bookcase door. I don't want it to be like fake. Um, Jewel, I, I've seen you say this a million times. Don't worry, I'm with you. We're gonna put stuff in between the chairs. I'm not gonna put them like uh, in between the chairs here cause it's kind of in the wrong spot. Um, and you can't really get it to be the right size. Trust me, I, I've done this before in my previous libraries and I had trouble getting it to be like the right size because I can't center it with like half tiles. Um, I understand what you're saying, but I'm probably not gonna add a half wall, okay? Um, I think I don't really like how it looks. Um, can I have a coffee shop on the first floor? Do you know what, Bruna? I was thinking about that and then I was kind of unsure but we probably could get a coffee shop in the front section or back here, I mean. Or maybe we could use like the food thing from university. I don't know if I want to or not. Will it be auto staffed, the university like food counter if it's here on this lot? Cause it's not technically the student union lot. So I'm not sure. No. Yeah, I don't really know if I want to have... Oh, you can hire a vendor, but... I guess it wouldn't hurt to have a handful of vending machines. We have the high school years one, and then we can get a couple from Snowy Escape. And that might be good. Yeah, it's staffed in the dorm, but I don't know if it'll staff here. So I don't really know. 
be a noisy area. I guess that's true. It can be the noisier section of the building. Um, I don't know if I want to put a coffee bar or not. This is my thing. I feel like I'm always thinking about like, oh, it'd be so useful to have coffee for my Sims. But it's like, I'm allowing real life to cloud my judgment. Because I actually never used coffee in The Sims. And in fact, most of the time, I find it annoying, you know? So like, do I really wanna have coffee in there? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not sure. I always like wish that I didn't have it almost. So, I feel like the vending machines will probably do. Okay, let's think about this. I keep getting distracted before I put the tables here. I need to put tables, like... I wanted to do... Maybe I could do these, like, smaller ones. In between these. Um... Should I have like two chairs? Should I have more chairs? I feel like I need more space. There needs to be something in the middle. Doesn't the middle seem empty? I can't tell. Never seen a microwave in a library? Yeah, I don't think we need a microwave. I think because we have the vending machines, it'll be, it'll be plenty. Um, Doesn't Book Nook have small tables? Oh, I guess there is a table from the Book Nook kit. Yeah. It's just a little bit taller than this, but it does have books in it. And I can switch the swatches around so it like looks like two different colors. Or it looks like there's different books hidden under the bottom. I think that's better. Um, have I saved recently? Yeah, I did. I did. Don't worry. Why do you guys think that right here specifically is where it won't place the freeze? Hydrate? Oh, I haven't drank much water recently. That's true. That's true. You're right, I should. Um, maybe I could put this book return right here. Conflict with the open floor. Yeah, but why is it like spacing? What I mean is why is it going around the side? Because usually when I have this problem, it's like, I think it has to do with this part because it's, um, only in this section, it's not here or here. So I think that it has to do with this, but maybe I could, can you go away? I need to like put the roof back, but not have it be a room, like how we did it before. And that will make it not understand. See how it's not counting as a room in that way? I think that will fix it. See, I knew how to fix it. I just needed, um, I just needed to uh, take some time mentally to prepare myself to have to deal with this. <laughs> Cause I already had to fix it upstairs. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. Not a room. <sighs> Sometimes the freezes in this game make me want to cry. <laughs> okay, that's fixed though, so that's better off. We're off to a good start. Okay, let me see if I can fix these lights too. Oh, I need to fix these also. Because we can't have it downstairs. Okay. 
Okay, where shall I put... Maybe the chess tables could go in the entrance, because then we can have two of them. Oh, I deleted the fencing without clicking on them, Jaded Flame, by uh, when you hold control and draw again, you can delete. With, that goes for walls and fences. If you hold control and redraw it, it deletes it. Very helpful tip. Very, very helpful tip, though, if you didn't know. Um, too busy slash loud, what, in the entrance? Well, yeah. <laughs> But <laughs> I don't know where else to put them because we've got stuff everywhere else. Otherwise, they're going to be outside and like, I don't really want them outside. So, um, um, we can put some outside too, but I want to have like some inside because that's going to be more functional for us to have some inside. Does that make sense? Uh... Do I want to do... Yeah, I really like how this looks with the fancy stuff. I think it's cool. Well, that's the wrong color. <laughs> Oops, hold on. Um, what color are you? Oh, it's the blue one. Do I want to do that? Actually, do I like that or the yellow one better? I think I like the yellow one better. I feel like that was more with the yellow and gray. It's a little bit more like appropriate for this particular space. I also always use that blue one because I like it best. So <laughs> I probably should do something different this time around. Just because I always use the same one. Um, okay, I need to get... Little corner. Little corner. Okay. I really like this floor from high school years. I wonder if we could do the... Um, you know the rug? that is like tile from high school years too. With like a school crest. Yep. I feel like that's really good actually. Okay. That's beautiful. Perfect. That is just what we needed. Oops, wrong way. High School Years has some really fancy stuff for, for builds like this. <laughs> High School Years is quite good for builds like this, I think. It comes in handy. Um, okay. Could I make my own arch in the entryway? I mean, I guess I probably could, but I also think that I like it how it is. I don't know. I think it looks nice separated like this. I do feel like these bookshelves are very short. <laughs> Maybe to a fault. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what's the back tile room gonna be? We think it might become like a food space. If not, I'll put more computers in there. I haven't decided yet. Uh, what do I want? High school years? I must say that in my humble opinion, this tile, while I realize it is a different vibe than, cause it's kind of more art deco, I just feel like it's so perfect, at least for the bathrooms. Like that is so good in there. Can I stack the kit bookcases on top of the short ones? Um. Yeah, because they actually fit kind of okay. The books are a slightly different size, which kind of annoys me. But, what do you think about that? I guess they kind of don't match perfect, but 
I don't know. The bathrooms were renovated to accommodate modern plumbing. There you go. Want the empty versions? I don't know. We're going to go back in and swap out empty ones in some places in a bit. But I want to just get, like, the main stuff all put down and then we can go in and change it. Does that make sense? What sort of tile should we use? Ew. I hate to say it, but that counter actually matches the floor perfectly. Huh. Should I use that? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. What are our thoughts? <laughs> Not the, I don't know. It seems like the kind of counter you'd find in a public space, to be honest. In my humble opinion, I, I can envision this in real life. It feels like a public bathroom counter. Do what makes you happy? Okay, what makes me happy is this. <laughs> it looks realistic to me. <laughs> Um, isn't that islands and not counters? Yeah, it's islands, but you can use islands for sinks like this. It works fine. A lot of times EA does this. I always use regular counters and not island counters for bathrooms, but EA always does, uh, the islands. Not always. A lot of the time EA does islands in their bathrooms. So, I don't know. Can we do stains from Strangerville in the basement kit? Oh, wow. Yeah. Dika has something for like really ugly, disgusting bathrooms. I don't know what his deal is, but little Dika really likes a gross bathroom. He likes it when they're grimy and gross. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but that seems to be Dika's specialty, is uh, gross and grimy. All Every time he does a build, I don't know if you've seen his builds before for our shell challenges, they're always, like, actually disgusting. And I don't mean, like, they're bad builds. I just mean that he puts gross stuff in them. His bathrooms are icky. Oh, Dakota, I'm sending you a lot of love, friend. I'm really sorry. Thank you for the bits. Um, I'm so sorry. Hopefully we can maybe be a bit of a distraction for you. Um, okay. As a graduated 3D artist and uni student, grime and grossness is your bread and butter. If it's not grimy, it's not complicated, he says. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Um. Okay. I want to get some of this. I have a lot of space in here. More space than I would like, to be honest. But that's okay. Like, what do we want to put on this wall? We already have so many bathroom stalls. Um, I guess a changing table would be good. But even then, we still have space. Hand sanitizer. Oh, that could be good. More books. <laughs> I don't know if we need more books in here. I don't know if I want to put the books, the books in the bathroom. Uh, I must say that it's probably for the best if the books are outside of the bathroom. I'm just guessing, but... Can we put bookcases instead of the toilets, Dika says? <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, we got hand sanitizer. I wanted to look at the... University has like my favorite curtains, but they're too big. Um, bench? Yeah, maybe a bench would be good. Or I guess an ottoman sort of vibe, because I don't really like any of these. Um... Mm. 
No. 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 I don't know. Yeah, you're right. We don't have a wet floor sign still. How do we not have a wet floor sign? I guess I need a trash can for this changing table. I feel like it's so empty. There's some water on the floor over there. Hmm. Should I do a changing table in just one of the bathrooms or should they both have one? Probably both of them, huh? I'm just thinking, I always try and balance like the realism with the game. And like realistically, I am literally never, not a single time ever gonna bring a baby to this building. Like I just won't. <laughs> so as far as gameplay goes, I really don't have any need at all <laughs> for that. I'm just not gonna bring a baby here, so it's okay because it looks cool, but like I just we just don't need one. I Just won't use it. I think I'm gonna instead of having this be for robotics I think I might put some easels in here because people had pointed out that um, The robotic stuff would be super loud in the quiet library and I actually kind of agree and I kind of want to do some art stuff in here instead because there isn't really a dedicated art space, but there is like dedicated robotic spaces in the um, other place, in the student union. Never seen a sim bring their infant or toddler to a community lot. Yeah, I don't think that they do alien frogs. I don't think that the sims do bring their infants or toddlers to community lots. I think it's just us that can do that. Um... Oh, did somebody ask about a kid's area again? Yeah, we're not gonna do a kid's area in this space. Um, usually when I build libraries, I do. But because this one is the university library, I'm kind of focusing it more on, like, stuff for the, like, college age sims and not really adding in kids stuff. Just because I don't really, I don't know, I was kind of trying to aim for the older people things as I was doing this. Does that make sense at all though? Um, Cause usually I do put the kids stuff in here. I just wasn't really feeling like this was the best time for that. Um, I don't know. How about that? By the window? By the window? Um, there's some cute like art display things. They could probably also go out to the balcony to paint too, which will be cool. Um, let's see. How about like a, oh, you know what? From Growing Together, there's like that display. It has kids art, but it also has like some still life type of stuff. Maybe the students that are studying art can put their things on display. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what else? In the corridor maybe? I don't know, I kind of don't want to put that stuff out here. I kind of want to have it like primarily in there. Um... Can do a cork board outside of it. A maker space. I don't think I'm gonna do the, um, I'm not trying to make it as like art focused for like all the skills. I'm more so focusing on specifically skills and things that I find useful when I'm playing university. I think is where I'm going with this. Does that make sense? Um, I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards, though, is just, like, very specifically the university stuff. 
Maybe the still life props would work in here? <sighs> Hello, where'd you go? Still life. Oh, no, that's not it. There's a, um, is it under this th section? There's like a thing, these are all rewards from the art career. Is it under table lamps? There you go. Uh, but look at how cute this is. Um, I don't really think it fits. Maybe I won't use it. I didn't really organize this room in a way that it fits. Because this has, has to kind of go like somewhere where I can put an easel facing it. I guess it could go in the corner. Is that totally random? I mean, you could probably paint it from here. Oh, it comes in colors. Is this base game? No, well that is, but the build itself isn't base game. Uh, if that answers your question. The build itself has, has quite a few packs in it. A lot of the art stuff that I'm using is base game though. This is, this is, this is, this is, so. Okay. There's a bunch of art stuff like that kind of around the game, because we have the artist career. So, that part is kind of useful. Um, maybe I'll scoot you more in the middle of the room. I don't know. Okay, I like that. Now, major furniture-wise, I think that most of this is kind of getting somewhere. There's probably like some other things we want to add in decorations and stuff, but um, I think for the most part, we've got a lot of the things. I might put a lamp on either side of this. Is there one from like, I don't want something kind of old and fancy looking. I don't know. Oh, I like this one. Maybe you could come in like a silver color. Built-in book seat somewhere. I don't know. I feel like that doesn't fit the style that I'm going for. Oh, I need to save the game. Okay. Now this poses the question. Do we actually want that cafeteria thing? Or are we going to try and focus this being more books? Because I would like to have some of these, but I kind of want to get some more computers as opposed to having a proper cafeteria set up. Maybe there could be some vending machines. Because the cafeteria, I, like that doesn't really feel like something you need in university. They've got vending machines that they need to eat, but I don't really want to have a cafeteria. I think I'd rather have more books and more seating. Maybe we could have like uh, tables with laptops kind of laid out in here or something. I love these bookshelves. <laughs> I think they're so cool. Um, this could be like the room where you're allowed to be a little bit noisier, you know? So you can talk and stuff in here. Plants? Well, we're going to add plants, you guys. Don't worry. We're kind of going through and doing all the major stuff, and then we'll go back and add in more decorations. Probably. Okay. Oh, do you know what I want to get? Wait. From the kits? This, I just remember that we have this. I kind of forgot about it. But there's like the really cute stack of books from the kits. I want to have, what is it under? Is it like a surface or something? Stack. No. What is it? Do you know what it's called? It's a shelf? I don't think so. I'm thinking about like the the tall one. It's called the pile. Thank you. That's what I wanted. This. I want to have like some stacks of books that like they need to put away. I don't know. 
I feel like that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Um, books back there. I don't know if I want to use this brick wall or not. So we'll decide. And then in here we'll do some tables. Um... Okay. Cute. Scoot closer. Scoot closer. I think I'll put these with like laptops. Make a cart for return books. Oh, I got one, look. Isn't that cool? I might put one in a couple more of the rooms though. Cause it probably wouldn't hurt to have like an extra, you know? Oh, that's the door to get in there. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe not there. Maybe I'll put it like back. I don't know. Yeah, we have research machines. I did get those. I didn't forget. We have a whole like research room here with that. Um, okay. I wanted to get laptops. I'm distracted. I think I might try and put not the golden one. That's very dramatic. I don't think I want to put a laptop, like, everywhere. But maybe if we had, like, three of them. And if they were kind of different colors. I want it to seem like a sim has come here. And there's, like, people actually working in this room. That's kind of what I'm going for, at least. Maybe if we had, like, a backpack. Stuff like that. Kind of like make it look like Sims are studying around here. Because they will be. And it just seems more like lived in. So. I don't know. I feel like that's nice. And then we have these. Maybe I'll get another little trash can next to it. Begging for a wall seat in one of those book walls. <laughs> yeah, people kept asking about that earlier. I don't think I want to put one. Just because I don't really like the... Um, the style of it in reference to the other furniture that we have. Does that make sense? I don't know. Watch your klepto sim steal one of the laptops? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Genuinely. I bet they would. <laughs> I bet they would. It'll be gone fast, probably. Um, okay, let's get some plants. Um, I really, really, really like this book kit. After using it, I just feel like there's so much genuinely really good stuff in the book kit. I really like it. What about adding some tablets? Oh, I guess I didn't really think about tablets. Um, do you want like the digitalistic sketch pad or whatever? Is that what you mean? We don't really... I guess we can put one. I don't know. Is that gonna be weird? Are they gonna like, be annoying about using it and moving it and stuff? I guess we'll find out. It's no big deal. It's one of those things, they put it down, they kind of just scatter it though. So... Um, what else do we need? Do I want to do lamps at these desks? I don't know. I've been curious to hear all of your thoughts about the, the new book kit. Because I feel like this one has the exact right vibes to be, like, everybody's favorite. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I feel like it's got, um, all of the, uh, necessary additions to be like the perfect kit for people you know um oh those seem the pink ones feel really out of place maybe not i don't really care if they're just repeated over and over and over again um do i want to get some more columns like should i do one here Oops. 
I can't raise you all the way up, okay. Oh, that bothers me so much. It's the wrong height, but I can't change it. Okay. I don't really know how much more we need. Specifically on the inside, at least. We gotta pick some wall colors and stuff. I've been avoiding that part. And then we gotta do all the landscaping, which I've also been avoiding. So that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. What if there was like a giant crest? Oh, two, no. Go back, it was cute before. It was cute before. Um, I wanna try and mimic some of this landscaping a little too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Love Island! Hope, did you watch last night's episode then? Or are you watching tonight's right now with Madison? I watched yesterday's Love Island. I thought that yesterday, this is kind of a niche uh, discussion, so I'm sorry if you aren't watching, but I actually thought that yesterday was a pretty decent first episode as far as Love Island goes. I usually find the first episodes to be so difficult to watch, um, like like almost unbearable to watch the first episodes because they're so, so cringe to me. And this one, I, I did not feel was unbearable. And that is a really good sign. So this was, in the grand scheme of things, a decent first episode. Not bad, Love Island, not bad. <laughs> you would hope. <laughs> would not be bad, but... Uh, anyway, I thought it was uh, an improvement on how some of the ones have been in the past, so... Less cringe. The first episodes are always so bad. The entire concept of Love Island is so bad. Like, you sort of know what you're getting into when you watch it, but... I like to watch some bad TV, so... I'm kind of a fan, but... Um, what do you guys think about that? Bad TV is iconic, yeah. Yeah. Okay, how do we think about that? Maybe this needs to be lighter. Oops. Oh, maybe that's better. Should we do some benches? Is there benches from university? I want a stone bench. Or like something relatively, that's gray. That might work. What if I put some more of those trees? Or what if I put, should I align this with trees? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Middle, middle, there. I can see that. I think that there's a, it might be under Ottoman, but I think that there's a bench that might. Oh, these ones are stone, but they don't have backs to them. I find that kind of annoying. You could nap on these also though, which might be good, <laughs> to be honest. Um, okay. Maybe I'll let this be all bush. Okay. Uncomfy nap though? Yeah, but technically you could nap on those, you know? Cute just got here? Oh, thanks! We've been working on this today. It's, um, we're trying to build like a, a library for the university pack. These rainbow flags, look at this. It's a swatch on this item. I totally did not know that it existed until today. Cause I don't usually look at, like I don't usually use this cause I always think that it's just like university stuff. I had no idea it had the rainbow swatches. No idea. Cause I guess I just don't look at it that much. Cause it's all like, all the other ones are like very heavily like sports, Foxberry, you know, like it's all very university-ish. I never knew that it had that rainbow swatch. 
Um, I didn't put another pole on it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. I like it, but I'm not sure if it's like, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not because I feel like it's too wide. I feel like it doesn't fit, but happy pride. <laughs> it looks good, so <laughs> now we know it exists, we should use it more often. Um, because that, that's so good for, like, so many purposes. No, they didn't add it for weddings. This is part of university. It's always been there. I just didn't know. Because I just don't use that item that much. But, um, anyway. Maybe it would be, like, maybe it'd be better over here. I'll have to think about it. I want to get a big statue. Is there a statue from university? of like a guy or can I use like hmm should I put like an astronaut in the back I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> can you tell the astronauts founded this place yeah there you go Maybe they had, like, uh, an old person, like, a, an alum that went on to be an astronaut, and that was, like, so cool, so they made a statue of them. I don't know. That might work. I can see that happening in real life. Uh. Is this too much of the same thing over and over again? Also, can it be purple instead? I think I like the purple better. Oh, I do like the purple better. To me, that is way cuter. What do you think about that? Maybe? No. I already have all the lot requirements, so. Is this good in that color or should it be white again? Maybe everything's white, maybe it should be white. Forgot two purple, oh I did, oops. Okay. I also haven't picked any wallpaper. <laughs> so, oops, um, but that's fine. I also don't know what flooring I want to use on this part. I have not fully decided yet. I don't know. We had talked about doing like, oh, do you know what? Why do I honestly feel like that might be kind of good with the little tiles or something? That kind of checks out, right? Oh, did you reality? Do you know what? My parents were so glad to hear, because if you guys missed it, I did a stream a couple weeks ago where my parents did like Sims Jeopardy. <laughs> um, and then I made it into a YouTube video. Uh, and my parents loved reading the comments. It like absolutely made their days how nice you all were to them. Um, and they, they loved the video, so <laughs> I'm glad they, that some of you liked it too, that's really cool. Um, it's, it was kind of a fun one, if you didn't watch it, it's kind of long, but, um, it was kind of fun. Cause imagine, like, the, the whole joke was that the questions were actually really easy, and like, you would assume that they would know, considering how much I have talked about this game around them for years and years and years, and yet, they didn't. <laughs> there was at one point where um, I had them trying to name the townies, right? So I had like all of the uh, pictures of like base game townies. So there was a picture of like Bella Goth, you know, they both got her. And then there was a picture of Eliza Pancakes and they both thought it was Nancy Landgrab. And then immediately afterward, I showed them a picture of Nancy Landgrab and they didn't know who it was. <laughs> but they had literally just been like, oh, oh, it's Nancy, it's Nancy. <laughs> and then I showed them Nancy, and they didn't know who she was. <laughs> it was really funny, it was really funny. So, I think you would probably like it if you haven't watched it. And my dad called her Lisa Cupcakes when he did get Eliza. Lisa Cupcakes. 
He's always called her that for years. Um, and honestly, I think that's a better name than Eliza Pancakes. So maybe they should consider changing it. They're doing all these towny refreshes. Maybe they should re maybe they should refresh the pancake family and make her Elisa cupcakes. Thought it was waffles. Oh, it's Lisa cupcakes and Leaf Lisa waffles. He's called her both. I don't know which one he said in the video, but he's done both. He's weird like that. So you're fixing the pancakes right now. You're doing a towny makeover right now. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what funny timing for you to come in. Um, I think I'm gonna do some little outdoor tables because I found that The Sims usually kind of like sitting outside. Um, I've had some like outdoor seating in the past for them and they, they tend to like it, so I might give them some tables. I see Sims like doing their homework out here on occasion. So that might be nice for them to have. Um, what else? Um, I feel like it's so bland. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of... Put that there, put that there. Maybe line these up. Should I do more trees like that? I think so. Statues? Yeah, probably. How far over are those? Okay, they're on the line. All right. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. That seems nice. We'll do some terrain painting too. I wanted to get also, maybe I could size it down. Still gonna be a little bit too big, but your sims can definitely walk under that still. Do you know what? This one? Oh! <gasps> Wait, that's different vibes, but that's actually so nice too. This is from, um, <gasps> Wait, that fits size down! Wait! Should I use that instead? It's not as rainbow, but it's still rainbow. And I like the, the edge of it. Wait. Get together. We have the like end pole, right? Surely we do. Could you have to layer them? But that's kind of pretty. Is there a... Okay, the flags look kind of weird, but don't look that close. It's in game, but not in the same section. Oh, okay. What are you called? Heritage Pride! Oh, happy Pride. <laughs> Heritage, what is it called? No. Um. You think it's in debug? Maybe it is. Let me just look through everything and get together because there's gotta be just like a plain pole. Oh, here we go. False alarm. The pole is called Hanging Gardens. So that's nice. Is it okay if it's in the white color? Because the flowers are different than they are on the floor, but that's probably all right, right? That fits so well. I actually really like that. I think that's so pretty. Somebody else said, what about a blanket and picnic basket underneath a tree? And I think you are so onto something. Wait, look at this. I've seen some people do this for like our shell builds and stuff where they layer a couple of rugs. Um, which ones do people usually use? Maybe like one of these. They'll like take this and then they'll use another rug. I don't know which one they usually put on top. Maybe the little camper's kit one. Does that size down perfectly to that? Oh, it's a little bit the wrong size. Maybe they don't use the camper's kit one. 
But they used maybe the pastel pop one. Oh yeah, it's the pastel pop one they use. <gasps> yeah, look at that. And then they'll get like a picnic basket. And they put it on there as if there's like a picnic laid out. Isn't that so cute? What's going on with the horse expansion pack? Oh, Lev, listen. We talked about this earlier. In case you guys missed it, there was a leak that we're unsure of the validity of um, about a horse pack. It just got listed. It's called, what's it called? I can only think of horse and around and it's not called horse and around. That's what I want it to be called. Horse ranch. <laughs> horse ranch. I in my head it's I, I've I've been like dreaming of a horse and around pack <laughs> for so long. They called it horse ranch, but it was really weird because it had like a Sims 3 screenshot. So I don't I I don't know. There's no like actual creditable credible, sorry, sources or anything. We're unsure. Um but I, I think that I think that uh horse and around is better than horse ranch, in my humble opinion. I am biased, but I think it's better. <laughs> Maybe some fireflies? Oh, that's cool. I like that idea. Well, whatever they try to release, I'm gonna call it horsing around no matter what. If it's real, I'm gonna call it horsing around, so. Sorry. <laughs> I refuse to, to call it anything else. That is the name of the pack. Horsing around. Um, should I put some bushes there or is that like too much? No, I think it needs it. I think it needs it. Um, it's love to knit all over again. Yeah, seriously. Um, okay. Is that clip inside at all? Nope, it's too tall. Yay. We could probably get some bikes put outside. Um, we have a university bike. Maybe I could like, I don't really know. Maybe I'll just put one. Maybe I'll put them around kind of like in a couple places. Cause it might be nice to have them kind of as if some people had left them or something, I don't know. Bike rack, we don't really have a, we've tried to do fake bike racks before, but there's not really like a, the flower poles are off, are they? Are you sure? How? Oh, like that. I had them in different spots. I see. I thought you meant they were like off from each other. Like I had like placed them clipping or something. <laughs> nope, I was from the wrong spot. Okay, let's get some dirt to put under here. Under there, under here. Okay. Let's see. Are those a debug bike rack? I'm not sure there is. I feel like we looked for it before. Maybe it wasn't from the pack that we thought it was. Is there a debug bike rack in university? Maybe we were doing a different, like a pack limited build and that's why I didn't think there was. But I swear to you, I was looking for it and there wasn't one, but it's possible that um, that was because it was a limited pack build and this one is not, so. Um. There's one in Get Together. There wouldn't be one in Get Together because we didn't have bikes back then. There might be things that you could pretend are like bike racks and Get Together, but isn't it high school years? I think that high school years was the one that we couldn't find it from, that people were saying it was, but I don't know. Um. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's cool. They have parking spot things in high school years. I thought it was an eco lifestyle, wasn't it? City living. See, this is why no one knows what it's from. I'm certain that we looked through high school years for it already. 
This is not a bike rack, but maybe we could try and like... Hmm... Maybe eco lifestyle? It's not worth like spending ages digging around for. It would be cool, but... I think that's good. TBH? Oh really? Um... Look on the gallery. I think we tried that before too. We like, we just went through a whole like thing trying to find a bike rack for a different build. I can't remember what build it was, but I swear we just went through like a whole process. <laughs> we like just talked about this. I remember it. It was like a couple weeks ago, I swear. And we couldn't find it. Um... I guess we could use that little fence from high school years that I just had. Because that wasn't too bad. It's not quite right, but... Whoa. Should we try this? I don't know. Those are kids' bikes. Well, how do I... How should I put them? Should I try and, like... Line them up like that a little. No, these are not bike racks, but we can pretend they are. These are like fences, though. Is it worth it? You think it looks nice? Okay. That makes it worth it, I feel like, if you think it looks nice. Well, that one's clipping weird. Um... Kids' bikes, annoying. Maybe I'll use this one. I love this one. Best bike in the game. This is from, unfortunately, this is a early purchase bonus item from, uh, it's an early purchase bo- I hate these eco lifestyle ones. It's an early purchase bonus item from Cottage Living, so you can't get it anymore, unfortunately. Ooh, I like that one. Can you guys tell what I'm trying to do? with it being a fake bike rack. Should they have been lined up against this? Like on the... I think you get what we're going for, right? It's maybe not perfect, because it's not like a real item, but... I think it's cute. You can tell what we're going for. <laughs> you can see what I wanted it to be like. <laughs> That's all that matters, I think. Um, okay, a couple trash cans. What else do we want? I bet it would be cool if we had like a soccer ball or two, kind of just around so your Sims could play. A dumpster, oh. Do you know what? A dumpster would be good. A dumpster would be good. In The Sims 3, I used to dumpster dive constantly in university. Where should I put it? It's so, yeah, and it's a woohoo spot, exactly. I guess it could just be on the side like this. That would be fine. Maybe I'll scoot it back a little. There you go. <laughs> Hey, Father Paul, thank you for the resub. Oh, God. Gold Freedom, Jules, Kitty, Laura, Swerman. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, okay. Should we start trying to do some terrain paint? I need to finish painting or all the walls inside the building, too. I have not really done that yet. So, there you go. There you go. Wallpaper? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. I didn't know what color I wanted to paint it, so I just didn't. Oops. Oops. Okay. We have to paint all these. 
beige. Well, do you know what? I might end up using, um, I really like the high school years wallpapers. So I might end up using the high school years stuff just cause I like it a lot. Um, I know I use it in the bathrooms, but I might try and use some of the high school year stuff again. Cause it has kind of the right style to it where it's got like kind of some fancy paneling but it's not too dark. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Did I paint that side or not? There's like some existing dirt on the ground already. Can you see that? That's too dark. Uh oh. Okay. A wooden room though? Yeah, I don't know. Do you think it'll be kind of out of place? I can't. I can't decide. Do I want to have a fence? Maybe just right there behind these for something a little bit extra. I think so. I really like playing with university. It's making me want to like doing this making me want to play in university now. <laughs> I'm setting up kind of so we can do this with um, some sims of mine on my YouTube channel. So that's kind of why I wanted to build this so that we have a place to study, but now I want to do it today, not a few weeks from now. Okay, that feels pretty good. And there's kind of some cute like places to play in the yard. Maybe I'll do some more tables over here. Waiting for your teen to grow so you can play uni again. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's been so long since I did it with like Sims that I was playing with for ages as well. So it'll be kind of cool. Okay, that's like the majority of the exterior. Let's go back and figure out the inside. Oh, I didn't do the patios yet either, but we'll do that. Let's pick the wallpaper because I kind of dropped the ball a little bit um, and I haven't done that yet. <laughs> So let's pick the wallpapers first. Should we do like this kind of fun tile behind it? Cause that matches. Um, should it be like this? Should I do it everywhere? I just love this. It's quite fancy. I don't know. Where's that door from? Oh, the front door is from high school years. It's pretty good. This one, or not high school, it's from university. I don't know why I said that. The wallpaper's from high school years. Different school pack. The, the big door is from university. We've used a lot of university in this building. I'll do different wallpaper in there, probably. Maybe a different swatch. Oh, I wanted it to be all white because I was trying to have it blend in with the columns. That's what I was thinking. I don't know, unless we did like a, I don't know. This room is like so tall. To a fault, it's tall to a fault. Oh no. I do like how it looks though. Okay, what else? This part needs something. I can't do this because of the stupid freeze. <laughs> oh my God. Can I put it inside at all? Or is it gonna look so bad? Probably it's gonna look bad. You don't think it's with the wood floor? I think that it's okay. Um, I think I like it, but I don't know. Would you prefer I did this one that's more like wooden? I don't know. I liked it. Now I'm sad. Do you want that instead? Is that better? I can do it in beige. Maybe I'll keep it white in the bathrooms though. What about wood paneling? I don't think I wanna do wood paneling everywhere. I think the wood paneling is gonna be, um, other one is better, beige is better. Oh, I'm getting a lot of mixed signals here. A lot of mixed signals here. 
You like the white, you like the beige. Okay. I do think that the beige is maybe a little bit warmer. And so maybe I like it slightly better for that reason. Because it's not as, like, stark. But... I don't know. Oops. Come back! Okay. I want to use, like, some diplomas. <laughs> that might be cool. And then what if we had some of the cute... University, like, some merch for each school. <laughs> we can do one Brightchester, one Foxbury. There you go. Um, maybe I could put some of these up in here for each of the schools, too. Because it's supposed to be the university library, so we could try and, like, represent both in some of the empty walls. Oh, that is clipping. That is my bush. Okay, you can't see it there. <laughs> With brown columns. Oh, I'm gonna, it doesn't come in brown in that same way. I was keeping the white because of the windows though, okay? Um, that was kind of why I did it. Mama, Soap, Max, Lawrence, thank you for the subs. Emma too, thank you so much. Um, still clipping so I'm trying to think what we could put I guess I could do like a little book return cart again that might be fine I guess it doesn't hurt to have more of those all over the place I think the white works still with this because there's kind of some white accents almost in the top you know um, now the question is what do we do in here for the wallpaper? More plants? Oh, we are getting some more. I don't really, I'm not done like fully decorating yet. I just don't really know um, how much is too much at this current moment, so. Um, I don't want it to be like super cluttered, you know? Brick? I guess maybe there could be a brick. Oh, ugly. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Oh no. <laughs> what should we put? Should we do, it's cause it's two stories. That's what's throwing me. You think white brick? I don't know. I don't wanna do one that like panels because that looks silly so I'm trying to think of ways that we could have like something that goes all the way across the whole thing um so you say white brick a white slash gray sort of brick might be okay what if we did like Some sort of stacking of, oh my god. <laughs> mm, can't do the columns like we did outside. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What if it was like wood? Because there's the kit wood. You guys wanted wood paneling. What if this room was wood? Oh no, that's terrible. We could do the white wood. I might blend in a little bit better. I like the dark wood too. I'm just like, I'm worried about it. It's like, I don't know how to match it up. And we can't do columns like I normally would because of how um, the freezes are. And we can't put a column there, so. It's really hard to like blend the top floors together without having columns. <sighs> Game. You are stressing me out. Should I try and like shrink it together? I don't know, no. Decorative panels from the maximalist kit? I don't know. 
Yeah, I like the darker shades too, because it is supposed to be an old university. I just feel like it doesn't blend well, you know? Door wall needs more windows. Maybe. We kind of struggled with that on the front. I don't know if you were here for that, but we've kind of been through it here with the placement of them. I agree, but we just didn't really know how to space it right. Like we, we spent a long time thinking about it <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> um, it's kind of been an ordeal. So, Shaki, I use the new kit everywhere. Look at this, there's books everywhere. Larger window, they don't really fit right. Trust me, we tried loads. I mean, maybe this one could work, but we can't really do this part anymore if I did this. Um, I don't know. It might look better, but it doesn't have the same, like... Maybe I could try and do these again inside. Should I have them sized up bigger? Give me this! Oh my gosh. Ugh. That helps. That actually does help a lot, I think. And then what if we got um, from the kits, you know the stuff that's supposed to be for the curtains? The like fake little curtain rod? We could probably hang this up. Oh, you know what? I could probably put it on top of these. It could probably come in a wood color, too. Oh, I wasn't thinking about it like that, but that might actually be good. Looks like it's hanging in, you know? Come here! Oh my god, I can't click on it. <laughs> come here! There we go. Come here! Oh. Come here. Sideways is easier. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calm down game. Well, that looks really weird. Hmm. Hmm. I wish that I could do a column. Can we think of like a fake column? I just need something in this corner. It looks so bad. Like, something like, you know this pillar? Something like that, but skinny. There's like some debug ones that we can maybe size up. Or like the fairy lights ones. The debug ones might come in better colors. But I just, it needs to be something there. If you guys missed it, we can't put a column because we have freezes there. And so the columns don't go to the full height. We've been struggling. Struggling because of it. Um. Oh my. Can you see that from the outside? Yeah, you can. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Wow, okay, sorry. They don't come in white. Come here. That doesn't look good. It's like the wrong... Weird to have the upstairs be small size walls. Yeah, we can't because of the freeze that we have here. So. It's too dark. I don't know if there even is a white one. This is like a gray stone. Um, yeah, we'll do some chandeliers. I haven't put in like different lighting yet. I've mo mostly been focused on the specifics of everything else. Is this build gonna go on YouTube? Probably. Um, I have kind of a handful of builds that I haven't posted on YouTube yet though, so I don't know when, but probably. Um, you're stressing me out, game. Seasons pillar for lights. Does it come in white, though? Isn't it only in that wood color? 
Um, show all. I think it only comes in brown, the seasons one. Oh, it's got, this one has, <laughs> that one has one. Um, oh no. Where is the light thing? Yeah, it only comes in the brown color. That would be perfect, but it doesn't have swatches. It only has the brown. See, look. Brown. Eden, Aaron, Caitlin, thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's only brown, um, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, game. You are stressing me out. Oh, maybe I could put some like pipes on the side of the building. This might be cool for adding some visual interest. Um, yeah, I hate this build, hate it. Do not like what it looks like right now. It's this part that I'm struggling with. So maybe if I, do you know what? What if I just like embraced it? and we only had the paneling on the back wall. And then maybe, do you think that if I put like a, no, that will not work. I just hate how it stacks. Like to me, that looks so weird. But I don't know. I don't know make the stairs curve or something. I mean, we could, but I think that we already built the whole everything. So I probably don't want to change it at this point, you know? Um, bookshelves at the front door. I don't know if that's going to be weird or not. I mean, this is like certainly a departure from the original plan, but What if we stacked it up all the way? It's okay if it blocks part of the stairs. Cause that's so ridiculous. Is that too much? I think it's a little bit too much. It does hide the weird paneling though, which and this is gonna look really weird in live mode. Look at this. Cause it, oh, you can't see how tall it is. Oh. Oh, that's fine. No such thing as too many books. Mm, I think there is such thing. And I think this is it. <laughs> I think this is a, an exact case of too many books. But. No, that's fine where it is. More decorative shelves. Yeah, we have to look at the, like, I didn't swap out any of them really for decorative shelves yet. We kind of need to go in and like think about, I don't even know if I want to have that many decorative ones though. I know this is like a really controversial opinion, but I quite like the uh, full ones. <laughs> um, I think that's really ridiculous, the books being that tall, but it's also kind of fun. But I don't know. What do you think? This is a very functional library at the moment, which is good. Should we do like maybe some outdoor chess tables? Some of the taller ones are a little empty. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. The taller ones can be a little bit empty, but I'm okay with having like mostly full. Evie, Zanaya, uh, Namaste, Eden, thank you for the subs, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, add a ladder. Oh, annoyingly, the, um, so the ladder situation, we were looking at a debug one, but it didn't really match. And then you can't really like do it with fake ones or with the real ones, I mean, because it has to be like a space for it to come up. So I don't know if it's really gonna, uh, fit the way you want it to, but it would be a fun idea. It would be cool in theory, probably, but 
I think in practice, I'm probably not going to use it. Um, okay. Cool. Extra chess tables outside. We have a couple inside too, but it wouldn't hurt to have some more. An easel? Oh, we've got a whole art room. I don't know if I want to do easels outside or not. I'm not sure. I think I could do like a little fountain. But like a small one? No. Maybe there could be like a... Telescopes outside, remember? Oh yeah, I want to put a telescope too. Um, let's see about this. Please hold. Maybe I'll only do one on each then. One on each side. I don't know. No, we're not gonna do a kids section. We've kind of talked about this loads. People keep asking about it when they come in. Um, so I can see there is demand, but I, I usually always put kids sections in my libraries, but my thought with this one was that because it's supposed to be like the university library, I thought I would do no kids section and instead focus more on like the university stuff. Like I don't normally add in um, like a speech and debate room, but cause this is like the university library. I, I added that instead of doing like a kid's room, like I normally would have done, you know? Um, which I think makes sense for our purposes here. I feel like it's pretty good, so. Um, but yeah, usually I would do kids stuff in the library, but it's like a university library, so. Um, I wasn't thinking about it on this one. Okay, maybe just the one telescope. Maybe I could do an extra telescope down here. Children do come to the library, like NPC kids will be here, but I don't think that we need to worry about them too much. <laughs> There's only so much we can do for them. We don't have to cater to like all of their needs, okay? We can take care of ourselves a little bit here. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of extra plants on the sides. Oh, this does ruin my, my bike rack. I need to redo it. At a study room? Oh, we do have a study room. We got loads of stuff like that, so we should be good. We've got quite a few. I'll show you in a second. Um, let me just finish, like, making some minor adjustments here to these little things that I added. So I can try to fit. So there's my bike rack. Magazines, perhaps? Oh, we have some magazines in the entryway. We also have vending machines and stuff, so I think we should be good. Where are those bike racks from? Oh, they're not actually bike racks. They're like a fence from high school years. But I used them here as though they were a bike rack. Um, but it's actually just like a little debug fence from high school years. So we do have research machines. Yeah, we got those too. So we, I think we've got everything covered, to be honest. Um, all the necessities for a build like this. The back is nice and simple too, so this will be pretty good. Okay. Nope, too dark. There you go. How do we feel? I do think that maybe... Oh, it deleted one of my books that I had right here. That's annoying. I guess when I painted the walls, it might have deleted it. It does that kind of thing sometimes. I hope I didn't delete any of my other stuff. I'll just use a different one. You know when you like alt place things? Oh, people keep saying add a globe. I'm not gonna do a globe bar, but we can maybe do like the globe globe. Like this item. Cause there is a little tiny globe. I don't wanna put a, a globe bar. Cause that would be weird. It's like a college library. I don't know if they would have a bar here, but. <laughs> We can do a little thing like this, maybe. I can see that happening. Um, I saw you say that, I just forgot that people were talking about it. Um, okay, what else? 
Yeah, globe bar might not make much sense, but the globe globe we can do. Line up the chest sails with the fountain. Oh, these ones? I wasn't gonna line them up because I was trying to give myself some more space for the, um, the thingy. So I had them off center on purpose because I was trying to make sure there was more space for this. Does that make sense? I did it on, I did it on purpose. Not having them lined up. I can see why it would annoy you, <laughs> but I, I actually had done it on purpose. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Maybe we could do those again. Meeting room, we kind of have a meeting room down here. Somebody said the whiteboard from high school years. I kind of forgot that that existed because the last time I did this I was doing base game and we didn't have a whiteboard but this is like way better then we, we can keep this little poster too for them but they can use that in their in their like group meeting room to work on their projects okay that helps with that wall too so that's good um probably just a little plant Oh, we have all those book prints from the kit, too. Uh, Daisy, I'm probably gonna get off stream pretty soon, actually. Um, I usually stream for about three hours. Um, and I've been live for about three hours. <laughs> so, I will probably get off stream pretty soon here. Um, I got some stuff to do tonight. I'm trying to finish all of the rest of the letters. I haven't done them, the, the rest of the donation rewards from the St. Jude fundraiser, because I went straight after finishing to my grandma's house, so I have the final day of letters to do. But on the final day of our fundraiser, we raised $90,000. So I have like a fifth of the letters <laughs> to finish. I finished all the rest of them, but those last day, um, I have quite a few of them to finish. So I'm gonna try and uh, knock out all the rest of them tonight and tomorrow, so. Um, okay, I like those in that room. I think that's kind of nice in the debate room. And then there's not a lot of wall space otherwise for like book posters, but yeah, we're almost done with the rewards, so. We are almost done with the rewards. There's that little base game book poster, which I like so much. It's like, um, not that one. I want the bigger one, this one. I feel like that is so cute. Can use that. We do have research machines. Yeah, they're in here. Oh, I wanted to line up these bird thingies differently too. Um. I don't know why there's birds above the research machines, but there are. <laughs> and to be honest, I kind of like them. <laughs> I think they're kind of cool. Um, what's a research machine? Oh, it's from uh, university. Your Sims can use it for university. You can also die from it uh, if your Sims like brain overload or whatever. So I guess be, be aware. <laughs> Watch out, I suppose. Um, okay, what's the bookshelf count now? Oh my god, guess, and then I'll pull it up. How many bookshelves do you think total are in this room? And then after you guys guess, I'll, I'll pull up the thingy and I'll check. 40, 120, 150, 200. I'm gonna go, I think 160 is my guess. I think 160 is my guess. Should I check? Oh, wrong thing. 173! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's because there's like, uh, they're all modular, right? So there's like so many little pieces. Whoa. Okay, I was way off. <laughs> Alright, last thing I wanted to do was maybe get some fancier lights, or at least a fancier light. I kind of wanted to do like a chandelier above the entrance. And then I'll change the light colors because Stanley's here. I was close, I was close. 
I remembered it was like 150 and then we added more, so I was hoping that I was gonna get it right, but I didn't. Okay. You know what? I feel like this turned out pretty cute, to be honest. Rugs for throwing sound? I don't think I want to put any rugs in here. Rugs in public spaces kind of give me the ick. I don't know why. I'm just imagining Sims, like, spilling things on them. And it makes me feel icky. You know? How do we think about this, though? I feel like we've got stuff on all the walls. I think we could probably upload it to the gallery. I feel pretty good. This has been fun. I'm glad we got- oh, I think it looks pretty with this lighting. Bright Chester Library. I built a big library to replace Laurel Library in Bright Chester. Okay. I had fun doing this though. I hope that you- did I just say that? I don't remember. I hope that you did. Because <laughs> it was fun to try and use this kit in like a different way, you know? Because I built a house with it. It was fun to try and do a fancy library. This is what I was envisioning when I saw the kit. I was like, I really want to have these books filling walls. And that, that was the dream and I think we accomplished it. So, I hope that you enjoyed the stream. Um, tomorrow? <sighs> Here's the thing. I was planning on playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. And then I was like, nah, I'm gonna play The Sims 3. And I updated my schedule today. And then they announced there's gonna be a Dreamlight Valley update tomorrow. So I don't really know what I will stream tomorrow. I will see how I'm feeling in the morning. And then we'll figure out a day. <laughs> we switched it, but I might have to switch it back. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. How funny though that I said I was gonna play it and then the update was gonna come out. I didn't know that, but. Um, Anyway, I'll, I'll think about it, but there was going to be a Dreamlight Valley update tomorrow, so... The update's in the morning. I'm going to stream... I can't stream in the morning tomorrow. I'm trying to pre-record because um, I've got a lot going on towards the end of this month with, like, VidCon and also, um, like, Steph and Sasha are coming over in, like, a week. And so I wanted to... I have to pre-record for, like, both things. So <laughs> I can't stream in the morning tomorrow. I have to... Um, I have a lot of recordings to do the next few days. But, yeah, I put it on the gallery already, Moon. I can show you guys around quickly, too. So this is the entry. I like the tile a lot. Uh, you come through, we have, like, some seating. There's, like, a check-in desk and or stuff. Uh, we got some books everywhere. In the back, there's, uh, like, some study tables and things, more books. We got bathrooms on each side. We have some research machines for your sims to use. We have kind of, like, a project room. Um... And then upstairs, we have some computers, more books. There's like a speech and debate room. And then an art room as well. So, there you go. Anyway, we got loads going on. The next, I can't, we, we've just been busy the past like month or so. <laughs> the past like, the next like couple months are going to be kind of going to be rough, but it'll be fun. So thank you for hanging out. Um, let me go and see who all is live. Um, so we can find someone to raid. And then, uh, if you- Ah! Shh! And then- Shh! Uh, I muted it! Why isn't it muting? Oh! That was so scary. <laughs> um, anyway, I want to find someone to raid. Um, I also posted I, my own stream. Dear God. I post the stream schedule in my Discord. There's like a stream schedule channel at the top. Uh, and it has like the specific things that I'm gonna do each day. So like today it was like, we're gonna build a library. And you know, so if you're ever curious about specific stream plans, I post that in the Discord. Um, and then, um, I have Twitch muted and it's not muting. I gotta be honest, that can't be good. <laughs> I have it muted and it's not, I had to mute the site, like from the tab. Anyway, I want to read my friend Griffy, because my friend Griffy is building a new house for the Pancake family. And you know how I feel about the Pancake family. Um, says morning tomorrow, is that wrong? Oh, does it? <gasps> that is wrong, I'm not gonna be live in the morning, I'm not gonna be live in the morning. Tomorrow at the regular time, 4 o'clock Eastern time, instead of in the morning. I changed my mind about that, I didn't know I posted in the morning, oops. Regular time, not morning. Sorry. Anyway, let's go raid Griffy, um, who is building with uh, the pancakes. The pancakes need a new house, because the default house is... 
you know? <laughs> Irene, Mama, Tatiana, Simmer, Renee, Pixelate, and PG. Thank you all for the subs. Um, we'll play Not So Berry on Thursday, friend. That's the plan. I posted that in the Discord, too. But go say hi to Griffy for me. I shall see you all in a little bit. Um, thank you again for hanging out. It's been fun. And we'll game tomorrow. I don't know what we'll do yet. But we'll figure it out. <laughs> again, I'll be here at this time tomorrow. So, like, three hours ago, but tomorrow, you know. Anyway, have a great night. Go say hi to Griffy, and I will see you all later, okay? Goodbye!